stream with Chatbox with Sam. Today's guest is Jennifer Berens and her husband, Mauricio Mendoza. They've been in a past interview before on season three on Chatbox with Sam. Hold on one second. Oh, we are live. Okay, great. We are. We were live on my <laughs> Sorry, we are live. <laughs> I'll take two. <laughs> we are live. Oh my god! And then I, okay. I this is confusing. It says live. Is this live on restream? We are live here. Yes. And are we live on Facebook? I hope so. Do you see us on there? Yes. Okay. So I'd like to say to the audience, this is her choices. Um, this is based on a true story. They're in the last production of their film. It's a drama, crime, and it's so moving. Throughout the live stream, you'll see various guests coming on here that are cast and crew members, uh, including two young children, um, which I've never had on my um, show before. But it, it's such an amazing story. Everyone will identify because we're all human beings and we have magic angel numbers that Yennefer is um feels very strongly for um and that's why we started the show at 11 11. um we will introduce the different guests please go onto the events page on facebook that's jennifer berens and mauricio mendoza and chat box with sam youtube uh channel please make your comments um jennifer and mauricio and the cast members will answer your comments and give you shout outs this is also a crowdfunding and the links are on the events page. So, and we're on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and threads and also LinkedIn. So we are everywhere. So good morning. And Bonnie is the producer here and she will be helping with the, with the producing and, and the live chats. Yennifer. Hi. Mauricio. <laughs> It's. I love watching this whole thing happen because it's such a perfect example of of, of production, right? Mm -hmm. You plan for everything, and something will happen, which is why pre-production in in any movie filmmaking is so important. Mm -hmm. So that when there is a breakdown, you can take a deep breath, and and. Um, Go in and and go with it and and just fix it, exactly. right? Go into the fixing mode. Yes. Yeah, uh, and and things happen. You know, um, life is is not is just a rehearsal. We only get one chance at it, you know. <laughs> and that's what this story is about. And it's about Yennefer's based on a true story. So what? So let let's tell the audience let's invite them and let's include them um there we go why That's would you why did you want to do this live stream okay great well um one because it's so important for me to share my story and see now we are live on facebook we hadn't gone on so what mal just said is so important so i went into the other um window now i see ourselves i see I you see Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're on. So let's do a, ta a quick take two of introducing what um, we're doing today, Sam. Um, because uh, the first time they didn't see it. Um, but yeah, okay. that's what production is all about. It's like lovely, lovely, lovely that we have a take two. <laughs> okay. This is take two on Chatbox with Sam. Oh, one second. <laughs> Ching. <laughs> I hope you're I hope you're all hydrated this morning. It's Saturday morning on Chatbox with Sam. This is a live stream with Jennifer Berens and Mauricio Mendoza. Bonnie Ballantyne is the producer of on this show. Um and we're having a great morning. We've all had a group hug this morning. We yes. we started at 1111, which is an angel number. Jenny, Jennifer, has, and Jennifer, I keep calling her Jennifer. Jenny, 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 I'm gonna, Jenny, Jenny from the block. <laughs> so Jenny and Mauricio have been on season three on Chatbox with Sam. Their interview was very moving. Uh, they have a sizzle reel, which we will be showing. 
um, throughout the live stream. We have different guests coming on. We'd like you to interact with us, you as the audience. Um, if you make per if you make um, posts on Facebook or YouTube chat box with Sam YouTube channel. There is a live chat feature on there. Please go on to there, but mainly the events channel on Facebook, Yennifer's. And then we can see what you're saying and give you shout outs. If this is a crowdfunding. It's the last part of production for her choices based on a true story. And we're all human beings, as I said, and you will be able to relate to this story one way or another because life is life, you know. Yeah. So, Yennifer, could you please explain to your your friends and viewers and the audience why you wanted to come on chat box with sam live stream today you and mauricio well first of all i i want to acknowledge you and bonnie for all your amazing work your support and your willingness to really champion our project our story because it takes a village to mm -hmm. really do something this big and it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it takes a bigger village to make a movie. <laughs> and, nice. um, and you are part of our village and we're so, so grateful for that. Um, I also wanna acknowledge um, that it's um, Chinese New Year's today. Happy Lunar New Year. Um, it's the year of the dragon. Yes. Red, and we're celebrating new beginnings and you know, dreams coming true, which is, a huge, huge part of my story. Why am I telling my story is to empower others to tell theirs and to empower others to create the life of their dreams, no matter what they went through when they were through with their parents. Um, okay. So that's, that's really my mission is to um, just, I, and, and I, and, I would love to um, play the uh, my why video so that people understand why I'm telling my story. But before we do that, I definitely, I would be remiss if I didn't start with an angel card reading, which is part of our, um, it's part of my thread. It's part of my, my being. I love the um, angels and the fairies and also the numerology. I'm very mm -hmm. spiritual person because I really believe um, that we're all one spirit and that we're all one Red and we're so in um, I'm getting some feedback is that um, and no. I'm really um, clear I'm really clear that we're all here to help one another and lift each other up and to um, we're all reflections of one another good and bad whatever we recognize in someone else good or bad, that's because we are that inside. And that's an opportunity for us to grow and to work on ourselves deep, deep on the things that we don't like about someone else. Oh, obviously I'm recognizing that. So I got to work right. on that in my, in my life. So, so not to get too hoo-hoo for people um, <laughs> or woo-woo, <laughs> it's hoo <-hoo. laughs> <sighs> Let's all take a deep breath and call upon our guiding angels so that this Seed and Spark campaign um, is blessed and is shared from every corner in the planet so that this story, Her Choices, touches millions and billions of people in the world. It's a universal story of a mom and daughter a family um, separated by tragedy, but united by the undying love and the resilience that it takes to unite in in the hardest of times. So with that, do you want to pick? Maybe. Yes. Let's pick an angel number. Oh. Meditation. Meditation. Oh, God, that's good for me. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. And that is one of the tools people will ask me, how did you do it? OMG, how did you do it? Prayer, meditation, and really going within and understanding that all of our answers and everything we need is inside of us. So absolutely, um, meditation... I'm going to read it right here. Meditation. Meditation is a very important is very important for you right now. Enjoy practicing it 
every day. A quiet mind hears the voice of the angels more easily. This card is your angel's way of asking you to quiet your mind so that your angelic communications are loud and clear. First thing in the morning, spend at least five minutes with your eyes closed and breathe deeply three or four times. Let's take a deep breath, everybody. Let's take a deep breath. I just took this deep breath while you were reading it. I was like, <laughs> yes. deep breath and a group hug. <laughs> yes. Ask your angels a question and then listen as intently as you would a dear friend. Don't strain to listen. If you chase the answer, it will evade you. Instead, continue to breathe in and out deeply and allow yourself to relax. Tell yourself that receiving angelic communications is natural for you and that it is actually an everyday experience. The more you relax your mind, the easier it is for you to hear the answer. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. I like so, the amen at the end of that too. It, it's so true, right? Because it reminds me of, you know, um, you know, a friend of ours, Lydia, what, you know, gave us this real incredible example of how in life we are always holding things really tight. Yes. It really is letting go and then allowing, right? In the process, and it happened to us this morning with Restream and, and <laughs> the platform, which we you know, had a ding. <laughs> it's not a perfect. It's not a perfect. Uh, and nothing's perfect. I mean, let's yeah. be real. Nothing is perfect. So mm -hmm. you got to go with it. Enjoy the process. Go with the and flow. Go with the flow. That's right. And, yeah, and if you have to take two. Sometimes you just have to take two or three. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is this is not rehearsed. This is improv, and we're That's improv in all the way. <laughs> like we know why we're here, but we don't know what we're going to talk about. How we're going to say anything? <laughs> or in the middle of the room, if we have a little breakdown, which you know we all do. Uh, what are you talking about? We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll go take two. And then we go back at it, right? Exactly. And, and people ask us, how do you guys work together? How do you guys do this? It mm -hmm. seems like we're with each other 24 hours a day. And it right. truly has been is because we've taken seminars and courses that gives us a system, a, a form of a, a technique, right? That we all, you know, we go to school for different things. Nobody teaches anybody how to be married, right? Right. So we, we, we take these courses and we allow ourselves to learn so much that when we are in the breakdowns during work or in the breakdowns <laughs> with children and they're coupled, right, that we are able to use those tools as we use them this morning. Take a deep breath exactly. and go. Exactly. Have you ever meditated with your eyes open? That's a good practice as well. As you're doing I stuff. I that with music. Yes. 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 Yes, absolutely, that. absolutely. Yeah. That's one of my questions on my interviews about music because it's very influential. They, it makes the moment in a movie um, or leading up to that, leading up to that moment. It, it without the music in life, it holds memories, and I always say that actually Bonnie's oh. going to get Bonnie's going to put that. <laughs> She cannot do anything without saying that at least once. <laughs> like, it's, it, I mean it though, because I know it's true. It, it, you're somewhere and you hear a song and it's like, yeah, and it takes you back. And then when you hear it again, it takes you back to that moment because yeah. I think it's just the way our brain works, you know, and our That's soul true. and something. Okay, you guys, I have good news, even better news now. I was able to log on to Facebook and I see comments now. So yes. I want to give some shout outs. Mm -hmm. We got um, Ali Lott. She is our associate producer for 1111 um, Conversations with Jen and Mao. She's been with us for, oh my God, over a decade. Um, Deanna Mole, good morning, beautiful Deanna Mole. She is one of Hello. my sisters, also an actress producer. Bonnie Bell, what's up? I see you. <laughs> Congratulations on your Super Bowl commercial, Matt. Oh, thank you, Allie. And, thank you. Um, we see Ariel Linas. And uh, well, we're going to be, we are going to um, be um, saying hi. We're going to be seeing, yeah. geez, be seeing cast members now. But so without further ado, I think that um, it's time to show 
our first um, the video. That's okay. Other- I have no? I have one further ado, and that is that I am also watching the comments in YouTube. So I just want to say that we also have a few of our familiar faces there. There's Sam, not this Sam, a different Sam. Hi, Sam. Um, Sam. <laughs> Sammy. We also Hello, have, Sam. <laughs> we also have Jessica um, with a K. So yes, and then there's Darren. Darren is here. And I also see Hi, Darren. Darren. Tony is here too, Sam. Hi everyone. So, know, so, so Tony, Tony A. Angelou is from Safe Harbor Films. I'm just going to give him a shout out. Hello, yeah. Tony. Thank you very much. He's um, I collaborate with him on a few things, and he's a wonderful gentleman, and he's got a wonderful project going himself. A few of them with the writer Bill Kilpack. So I wanted to give them a shout out and Safe Harbor Films a shout out, and I'd like to give Darren a shout out because he's here from he's joining us from England, and it's. 7 30 almost there. Hi, Darren. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much. We've got Beatrice Urgeyes in Facebook. And um, what a beautiful soul. She is actually mommy. She's part of our team. Um, she is mommy to one of our stars. Um, you will be meeting him very soon. He plays my little brother in the movie, that. Luis Emiliano Soler. Uh, He's a superstar. He's a gem. That kid that we found superstar. to play yep. uh, Tino is a gem, yep. a true gem. When you what what a talent that kid is gonna blow up. Yeah. Blow up. Yep. 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 So all righty. Well, when you ladies are ready, <laughs> I'm like my phone is falling here. Okay. <laughs> do you want? I know. Start every every the, time um, I'm I'm trying to look in the chat myself, but every time I do, I'm trying to turn the sound off. And it's yeah, not letting me. I did what I did. Here you go, guys. There's a little behind the scenes. I just turned off the sound because we have the sound here. And yeah. I have this picture. I'm doing that. It just keeps popping up. And that's the background things that you're hearing. I'm like, why is it doing that? <laughs> I've, got, I've got mine on silent and I've turned the volume all the way okay. down for sounds. I've got it now. I've got it. I can see so, the chat. Hello, everyone in YouTube. I can see the chat. Jenny and Mauricio is watching the chat on Facebook. Please make your comments. Um, and please look at the links that are posted. So now we're going to watch, watch Je- Jennifer, Jenny. Decide, Jenny. Mama, whatever you want to call me, Jenny, Jen, Jennifer. <laughs> Jenny <laughs> wonderful the- lady. Um, Mauricio Mendoza. I say his name very well, considering I'm verbally dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story for another day. <laughs> So uh, we have two videos to share today. Which one would you like to start with? The um, Y the video. video would be, yeah. The Y video the, that yeah. is on the Seed and Spark campaign. Okay. And a quick reminder, go to the Seed and Spark. Even if um, you can't donate, um, please share and follow the campaign. It is so crucial to share it and to really, really spread it all over the place so that people follow and because this is also um an incredible tool now for filmmakers to gather their audience um for um you know in one place and so that is what we are also um using why we're also doing this so that we can bring everyone together in one hub and know who our audience is and um and celebrate together when it's time for the Red carpet premiere. Yeah. And, and, and actually, you know, uh, I've got a question. Are we invited to the red carpet premiere? I'll bring Whoa. champagne. <laughs> I'm bringing champagne in Los Angeles. <laughs> I want to say, I say this before we go into the video, right? Why, uh, you know, why this platform? Why Seed and Spark? Um, you know, when we started the film, it was funded completely, completely funded. So we went to Miami, we started production, and unfortunately, due to, you know, circumstances, one of our investors fell off. But we, being the unstoppable people that we are, kept going. We, we kept going. We said, okay, how much do we have and how many days can we shoot with what we have? Yes. We took a little three-day break, went in, itemized again the budget. And we went ahead and shot the film. So the things that you're going to see today is partial. You know, we've shot 80% of the film. 80% is done. 13 right? days are so in the can. And because, we need eight more days to go. Correct. Mm-hmm. So because we are who we are, um, we we try different things, right? 
we it's like throwing things out and see what works and what doesn't work. Exactly. So um, here it is. Here's the, the the footage of what it really is. Why is it that we want to tell this story? Get your tissues out. <laughs> oh. Enjoy, everybody. Since she was young, she answered the This is 25 years in the making. I look back and I realize that I was crowned Miss Teen Miami to take care of my family uh, because that's what queens do. And as a young girl, I didn't understand it and I hated it and I felt abandoned. I felt alone and I felt thwarted in my journey. Part of my dream was to come back home to Miami because I left Miami with a lot of pain and I pretty much was escaping Miami. Hi, I'm Jennifer Behrens. You can call me Jenny from Miami. I'm very excited to invite you on my journey. I'm the writer, director, and one of the producers of Her Choices. It's my biopic of something that happened to me when I was 18 years old and it caused a lot of shame and pain in my life and for the last 25 years I have gone through a healing journey that I now want to share with the world because if you or anyone that you know is suffering from shame or hiding in their own life this story is for them I ask you to join our journey because we are not starting from scratch thankfully we have only eight more days of production left and we need your help now so that we can get back to Miami in April and wrap this baby and send it out to the universe for all of you to see please join me help our team to get her choices on the silver screen. Thank you, I, I love you. For me to tell my story has always been a way of liberating myself from the shame that I have felt for many years. In my healing process of writing and sharing my story, I'm able to help others do the same with whatever shame they might be carrying. I realize that we come here to learn and grow and it's not supposed to be perfect. I thought I would tell my story sooner where I can actually play myself, but now I'm going to be playing my mom, which in the process has given me so much empathy and understanding of what my mom went through and her choices. So it's perfect. <laughs> it's actually perfect that I'm playing my mom. <laughs> this story is about survival. This story is about what happens when you think you're going one way and life throws you a huge curveball and says, nope, you gotta go this way. It's a story of forgiveness, of redemption, of family. Everyone's life experience is so unique and different. And as human beings, we're gonna go through challenges and we're gonna have so many obstacles in life, period, that it's not one thing that is causing the pain or anything else. It's really our own interpretation of what's happening. And it's a beautiful, messy, delicious, painful, and happy life. Enjoy what there is to enjoy, suffer what there is to suffer, and keep going. <laughs> Oh, I, I have to say, I did cry when I first watched that because I'm an empath and I couldn't help it. I did cry. Oh, yeah. what was that? <laughs> I just see me in a horizontal format. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I was like, so, so that is very moving and we will have the sizzle reel coming up shortly as well. I and mean, we will be playing it again. And there's going to be other guests coming on. Who's the first guest that would be coming on, uh, Bonnie, today? Uh, well, I'll leave that up to you all. We've got Michaela and Kirk, Roberto and Luis all in waiting. All right. Then let's bring them all. Yeah. Let's bring, bring them all. Yes. Bring them all. Everybody ready then? We're so Here grateful we for the yes. that are taking the time yeah, today to, to join us today. 
Micaela. Here we go. Roberto. Roberto Sanchez. Roberto Sanchez, you little darling. Hello and hello, Michaela. Hello, hello Luis. We have a we have a, a young gentleman on here, Luis, as well. Welcome yes. to Chatbox with Sam live stream. Um, hello, Michaela. Hello, hello. Kerr. Welcome to hello. Chatbox live stream of her choices. I have interviewed Roberto Sanchez. He also had a very moving interview on Chatbox with Sam. So um, welcome today. I appreciate you being here on the live stream for her choices. Um, Roberto, would you like to share um, how you, your part in casting on her choices? We can't hear you. I said it. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Put your microphone. Help him, Bonnie, please. <laughs> I love it. I love this. Emma Jane is watching. Joaquin Garay is watching. So when Roberto, okay. comes, when Roberto comes on, Roberto is expert in the film. Yes. Hello. There is some there is some background noise here going on. Um, hello, Kirk's children. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, it's it's very. I think it, I, I don't think it's you, Lewis. I think it's. Okay, so why don't we come and talk to Michaela? And she can come to the first one. And then Kirk and Kirk and Michaela. Can we, Kirk, can you, can you mute, Kirk, can you mute your sound just a minute? I want to see who's causing the background noise. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's Kirk. Yeah, thank you. I thought it was the car. <laughs> it's not a good to do a live stream in a car, just but I'm glad he's here. <laughs> uh, so um it, I, I think it'll be before. fine while he's talking, just just so you know. Just yeah. 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 Okay. Marco Reverse, Reverse, Reverse. Is here. Bob Etabari is here. Thank you so much. Thank Ask you your questions, you guys. Um, okay. Let's go with Micaela first. Yes. Micaela. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much for inviting me. Hi, Sam. Hi, Jenny. Hello. How are you? Everybody. I'm so happy to be here supporting this amazing project. Wow. It's so encouraging. Thank you. Thank you Dios. so much. So I'm Mika. I'm from uh, Argentina, but I live here in Miami. And I'm playing uh, this amazing role uh, that is uh, Ramona. Is a very close friend of Mara, that is, you know, the, the Jenny's mom. So they work today, together in these drug businesses until one day, you know, the DA catch her and put her to work with them of, in exchange for information. So <laughs> I'm like the bad guy here. <laughs> <laughs> you're the bad guy you gotta have you gotta have a bad guy haven't you in a movie otherwise it's not real life so grateful to have you and you are the perfect ramona i uh, had so much fun with you on 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 set um our scene was just uh extraordinary yeah. so uh, under di different uh difficult circumstances because we shot that with the torrential rain that happened in Florida. Yeah, the, all the, the you know, flooding and everything. Yeah, yeah. so well, you know, kudos to our, our actors to to work through that, you know? Exactly, exactly. Yep. Yeah, yep. it was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm very happy to be part of this project. Oh. Well, you're thank part you. of the family forever. That's it. This is the first of many, so thank you. Well, Yes, yes, Thank yes. you. I went to Roberto first because I know he he has another yes, appointment yes, very yes, shortly. Yes, so I was going to. Can we hear you now, Roberto? Oh, can you can, can you can you help him with his sound? Uh, Maybe uh, you can uh, 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 His mic is on. 
Um, it's it's just some kind of setting is in the way that it's not working. If you oh, go to have them leave and come back. Okay, I said it. Go, 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 go to your settings. Go on your phone. Try going on your phone. I mean, at least, you know, he's so good looking that we can just watch him, <laughs> watch him go. You, know? no. it's you could write it on signs and hold them up. That's trending. Oh, <laughs> ASL. Go on the phone. Go, yeah, on, the go phone. on the phone. And log off here and then log in through your phone. Yeah. 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 Either way, you're going to look good, brother. Anyway. I had trouble too, and I had to change the settings in audio. I went to audio and settings and you... Yes. Yeah. All right. So, so to Luis Emiliano. You have to switch your sound on, sweetheart. There you go. Hello, Luis. How are you? I'm good. Ah. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Luisito. So, do you want to tell us who you play? Yeah. Um, in my cast, I play Tino from um the show, and I'm. Um, Jenny's the protagonist um, little brother that goes through everything and sees everything that she goes through and she faces through in her life. So, yeah. You know, be, before Luis continues, I have to say this about the incredible thing about casting, right? Which as actors, we learn so much by sitting behind and go through what casting goes through, right? Luis literally was the last kid we saw. Jennifer had been going at it for three weeks. Oh, no, Who casting. I mean, there were some kids that were really great, right? Right. Really, really great. But there was just an essence that we were looking for, this thing that we were looking for. Mm -hmm. Luis walked in through the door. That was it. Didn't do anything. <laughs> and, and you knew. Looked at each other and we went, he didn't even have to speak. We just, <laughs> we knew it. We, we knew. just knew the we moment knew. we saw him that, yes. that it was that it. Same that he was it. essence, that same, you know, just that same, like, um, como se dice, ese, 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 ese swing that my, my brother, my real brother has. I'm like, oh my God, I'm looking at my little brother right now. Oh, right? that's I'm awesome. At my real little brother right now. And yeah. the thing about Luis as his a kid, confidence, yeah. his like, you know, comedy like, timing. He is yeah. so yeah. he gets comedy, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. within the drama of a story, there's always those dramatic moments where you look back in it and you go, "Oh my god!" At that yeah. moment, it wasn't funny, but you look back at it later and you go, "My god, that was so funny!" Yeah. So yeah. we're so well, happy to uh, join. Uh, uh, her choices. He is truly, truly a gift. Yes. And and yes. any casting directors out there that you know, the, any channels that are watching this, Lewis, yeah. give him a chance. You know, watch the reels and when when the production is uh, finalized and and it is released, you will see Lewis and Roberto and Michaela and Kirk. Yeah. And, and quite a few others in there. So so. Good question because uh, Jessica Marcano is also part of the cast, but I she, she just had a little window. Bonnie, is she in the waiting room? She, she is not. She's actually over on YouTube and she just said that she's glad she could join us there for a few minutes and that she loves us all. But I think that she just didn't join here, but she was in the YouTube. Oh, well, that's she so might not know. She oh, might not know. oh, no. If you're able to well, well, can we, can we, um, because Roberto's got a window too that he has an appointment yes, to go no, to. So let, let's hear Roberto. Can we hear you? Okay. Let's hear him. Yay! 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 Roberto Sanchez. <laughs> we also, we also have Oscar ready to join. So I'm going yes, to get on the venue too. Me. Yeah, they're, they're friends. They go on many uh, productions yes. together. All right, Roberto. Hi Oscar. Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Oh, that's a different Oscar. That's a different <laughs> Oscar. Yeah, we were expecting this Oscar to play. <laughs> Hello, Oscar. He's not How here yet. Mm -hmm. All right, so we know okay, we so got Robertico for a little bit, so let's... Uh... Let's go, Roberto. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, you know, I uh, became aware of uh, Jennifer's uh, project. We were actually at an event 
uh, in LA and we were walking around and we were walking around in circles. I don't know if, if you want me to say what that was, but <laughs> it was a lot of- The magical uh, event? Yes, yes. So, uh, you know, we were walking and, yeah, you know- strike. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she, she told me about her, her project and, you know, it just, it's a story that I think that, you know, a lot of us can relate to in one way or another. Uh, you know, some things are different, but uh, I, I could hear it in her voice that it was a, a passion for her. Um, and, you know, whenever I have an opportunity and I have friends of mine uh, and if they're working on something and and if there's any way that I can help, uh, I, I, I do my best to just, hey, whatever you need me to do, I, I can do. Um, you know, a few years ago, I did a, a passion project as well. And the guy that was supposed to play my brother, unfortunately, booked something else, a, a bigger project, like a week before. And I reached out to Mauricio, and Mauricio stepped in uh, and was phenomenal and, and saved the project and, and was so perfect for that role. So, uh, you know, I'm eternally uh, grateful to, to him and her. So, you know, I was just glad to, to be able to come on board and, and, and help out as best as I could. And you crush me really it. quickly. Oh, he's an guys. Roberto's an amazing actor. Amazing. Thank I don't you. mean to Thank interrupt, you. but uh, Luis has to go. So if we want to say bye, he's going to have to take off. Okay. Luis, I want to wish you all the best in the. I want to wish you all the best in the future in your acting career. I know you've got two great coaches there with Jenny and Mauricio. So you have a good day, sweetie. Hold on. Thank you for being on chat box with Sam. Let me get a picture. Everybody smile. I want to get a picture here. <laughs> smile. Please. I love it. You know, I want to say something about. Okay. I need to go, guys. Okay. Oh, I'm going with you. Sorry. See you soon. See you in April. Get out. Okay, finish Thank this. You guys. Bye bye. Roberto has been in the business, you know, as long as, you know, 30 years, as long as I've been in this game, probably longer, right? Both of us, right? And uh, what's going on? He You're having is, a technical difficulty. Uh oh. We hear you good. We, yeah, it's, we're not having difficulties. Okay, he, it was just. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I couldn't Roberto, hear you for a while. Okay. Roberto is, and I can say this with all confidence, right? Um, one of those people in the entertainment business that, that when I met him, he is the real deal. He is an honest, yep. uh, giving uh, individual and so good. And for me, when he asked me to be a part of his uh, project, I jumped. I said, for me, I just want to, I want to be able to work with you. You know, uh, it was and like a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer. I, I didn't think about it twice. I'm said, I'm there. Let's let's go do this. And that's the beauty about. I think, you know, I have to say the the actors that have come up during our time and Roberto's time, uh, and Luis Jose was here and our time. Luis Jose, we understand. We, we, we understand. And Juan, we got Juan too. Ah, okay. We understand one thing is that together, helping each other and building together, we're going to go a lot further That's than right. trying to go do something by yourself. Exactly. It's about right. community. It's about the village that I was talking about earlier. So yeah. it just, you know, it's, it's remembering that, that we're all one spirit doing right. the same thing on the planet, you know? And so, when we band together, it's that much more powerful. Right. So, and I've interviewed a lot of actors, and, and chem, good chemistry on a set makes a huge difference. Good vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Good vibes, you know. Absolutely. And, and, and welcome, uh, Luis. Jose Lopez, how are you? Thank you for being on Chatbox with Sam live stream of her choices. Yes. It's good to, it's good to be here. Good and we also have one too. as well, Sam. You know, I love one. Hello, Juan. Sorry. My eyes didn't divert. <laughs> Hello. That's all right. Good, after <laughs> good afternoon, Juan. How are you? Good afternoon. I'm great. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 Oh, good. Thank you for being here on Chat. I love watching Kirk. Kirk is really letting us know that he is in Miami. 
Yes. yes. <laughs> what's, it, what's the beach life um, like? <laughs> I, I got. Listen, I got home and I decided to get on the hammock. Do this from the hammock. I'm a television guy, so I want to. I want to entertain people. You got to entertain. Okay. So, Talk um, about rubbing it in. We've had <laughs> power outages here. <laughs> I love it. So I just want to um, acknowledge that Micaela needs to go, and then we'll go to Kirk, and then and then we'll go to the brothers. Um, actually, then we'll go to Oscar, and then to the brothers. Okay. So you can. Okay, bye, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank See you, you Miami. Miami. We love you, you. <laughs> Miami. Well, I'll, see you. I'll probably see you in Los Angeles, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Good, right. Good to see you, buddy. Yes, Kirk is next. Kirk, Kirk, you have the floor. You have the floor, sir. Hey, everybody. Yes, you do. Come on. <laughs> um, uh, you know what? Uh, I, it's been an honor getting to know Yenny and, and Mauricio. Uh, I'm a Miami guy. She's a Miami girl. She's Venezuelan. I'm Venezuelan. So there's a lot of shared experiences. But let me tell you, the story, her story is one and only. It's very inspirational. Uh, it's, em it's emotional. I mean, it's from the cocaine cocaine cowboy days of Miami, right? And her mom was a cocaine queen of Miami. This is some crazy. Like, it, it, if you wrote this in a movie, like her, 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 her life story is a movie, right? So she had to make this movie. And it's got to get in the can. So anything you guys can do to help her get it in the can, it's been amazing. Everything I've seen out of the movie is unbelievable. I mean, it could be, and listen, and I'm a two-time Emmy winner. I'm a journalist, but I can tell you I'm a, I love old school movies. And, you know, you tend to think yourself of the movie connoisseur. And, you know, I, I honestly think this could, you know, once she gets it, the whole thing in the can, that it could be one of those, you know, Cinderella stories come Oscar times. It, it could be one of those, look, in the independent films that could win movie of the year. The performances are amazing from Louise to uh, and herself, her story, you know, to see her working behind the camera, in front of the camera, uh, sweating, bleeding for her story and her life. You know, she's a strong, badass Latina. She's unbelievable, inspirational, and she's laying it out all on the line for her, right. her story and it's inspiration and I get okay. emotional because I see it all right I really see her I see the movie I see the end result I can see her up on there winning the darn Oscar for movie of the year um and it's that kind of movie it's it's once it comes out you're gonna want to see it because from the cuts that I've seen it's spectacular uh, mm -hmm. And it's going to be one of those that's going to take the, the um, you know, the award circuit uh, by storm. I really do uh -huh. believe that. Hold on. Thank you, Kirk. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you, I, Kirk. I, so I you do journalism too. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Louis, yeah. Can we, um, I just want to skillfully interrupt everybody. Oh, mute. It's kind of like a, a, the Zoom mute while you're not speaking so that um, the other person speaking doesn't get the inter interference. Okay, thank you. And then um, here, here, here's the Oscar. <laughs> ah, we <laughs> We're all gonna be at the Oscars, you guys. Let's go. Listen, it's gonna, it's gonna, guess what, it's you gonna guys. happen. Yes, and listen, oh. I'm gonna give kudos here to my husband. This is actually he won Best Supporting Actor for the Terms of Us, which is Mantle's <laughs> short. So this this is you know this is real hey, you guys it can happen and we are all award-winning you know um artists here and i'm just so grateful and freaking humble to have you be part of my journey my story and kirk i love you thank you for yeah kirk just thank you kirk i want you to pitch can you pitch your show um uh, what is it that you do so well, listen, we're gonna have you we're gonna have you on sizzle tv um like i said i'm a two-time emmy winner i i was the first latino to anchor in english in ESPN history, right? So, and that's why Jenny and I connect because she's been a Latina badass on screen for so long that we have to, we, we Latino badasses have to support each other. Yeah. We, we have to elevate each yes, other. We have, we, to, we, have to be, we have to be in your faces all the time <laughs> to let you know who we are and what we're doing. And, right. that, uh, well, and that it's, it's, it's worthy of those Oscars and what she's doing is worthy of the Oscar. Yes. So when it's time, uh, I'm going to interview them on Sizzle TV. Sizzle TV with an X is uh, here. I got my mic flag here. 
that sizzle tv you can download it on awesome. your awesome on yeah, your, you can go on the on your, it download there. it on uh, on roku samsung and lg it's a free app uh mm -hmm. but it's uh for latinos in english uh, and and i i like to celebrate any minority and any multicultural background um that's what i love doing that's my passion but i'm i can't wait to interview jenny and mao about not not only the movie but you know they're they're Maybe we can do it now. Hey, Jenny and Mao, thank you for joining us. <laughs> um, it's time to talk about your yeah, movie and uh, the you're trials working and on tribulations that occurred um, <laughs> uh, while making the movie. And it's really enigmatic and, and <laughs> emblematic of the struggle of the actual, uh, what happened in the movie. So the story, your life story and, and what happened during the taping of the movie, everything's been a struggle. Everything's been a challenge. Right. Yes. And, and you know what? nothing has stopped you and nothing's going to stop you now. Nothing stopped you then, mama. So exactly. nothing's going to stop you now. Right. Yes. Um, yes. You are unstoppable. You are inevitable. Um, and, you know, I can't wait to interview you on Sizzle TV uh, uh, and have your own smart TV episode. I love uh, it. And, and really, sick. really blow it out of the water. Kirk, I have okay, to say I'd like to say something. I'd like to interview you, Kirk, on Chatbox with Sam. I've done an interview already with, with Jen and Mauricio, and that was their life story, and it was amazing. You could check it out Incredible. on YouTube. I will be on Apple, Apple uh, Can't podcast wait to see it. very shortly. But I'd like to interview you and Juan and Luis um, yeah, for season yeah. four. Listen, I will be in Los Angeles, and I'll do an interview you. over Zoom too. Thank you so much for the invite. Um, I've got, I've I, got, as, your, as I've got I, your email. As I like to joke around and say, the pleasure would be all yours. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I'm representing the East Coast out here, so I'm saying good afternoon. You guys are all good morning, good morning. Yeah. I'm like, it's yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the you want to know why I'm like this? I was coaching a flag football game today. So, um, I, you know, you, we, all, we all wear all sorts of hats. We Latinos, right? Uh, flag football coach, mom, dad, Emmy Award winner, anchor, uh, Oscar winners for you guys, directors. And that's what Jenny did in her movie. She wore so many hats. Um, and my wish for her is to sweep all the awards, right? Best supporting actress, best movie, best director, uh, best writer, best screenplay. Uh, she yeah. does it all in this movie. And I was watching it from afar because I only have a small role in the movie, right? And yeah. I, was, I, was sitting there watching, I was sitting there watching this woman work her, can I curse? Work her ah, off. No, you've got children. Work her yeah. off. And you know what's interesting? I was blown away. I was blown away with the passion and desire that we, in which she directed the movie. I was blown away with the way she played her mom um, and how she interacted with all the actors. And and literally willing her life story onto that film, onto tape. What what were you using? Film, right? Old school film. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> okay. She was she was she was like you know a woman possessed. Um, and and I, I hadn't told her this, but I, I was like, I know exactly what I'm going to say about Jenny. I'm going to say exactly what I feel in my heart and exactly what I saw transpire during all those shooting days. A monsoon came down. It didn't stop her. Blazing hot sun on the uh, on Miami Beach did not stop her. She's literally sweating her ass off on camera, behind camera. It did not stop this woman. She uh, nothing phased her. Uh, and challenges, challenges with the with the finances, uh, uh, back her backing down. She's like, no, no, no. This train left the station, and nothing is gonna, <laughs> nothing's gonna keep it off the tracks. This train is staying on the tracks. And by sheer will alone, her and Mao got it done. Um, so, I don't know how, uh, but it was it was inspiring to see, just as inspiring as the movie itself was. Yes, uh, was seeing wanna... that seeing that transpire all behind the scenes. So the, the the movie in of itself is amazing, and the story of how it's being made. We're living it right now. We're still <laughs> living it. That's why they need your help, right? We're still living the story of how this movie Awesome. Is that's okay? awesome. That's why they Thank need you your so help. much, Kirk. Help this woman. So, Kirk, uh, what, what I want to say about Kirk is um, it's interesting. He started as an associate producer. When we got there, uh, he was one of the first people to find out that uh, half of our funding uh, left in the midst of that crisis. You know, like I shared before, we had gone in with all the money and all of a sudden we started, we had half of the money wasn't there. And you see, Kurt, he was exactly what he's doing right now. He's like, no, we're going to, you know, and he got on board and we were watching him and Jen goes, looks at him and, 
and goes, you should be the host in this. <laughs> so he became the host of the pageant. He's one of the, you know, yeah. and, and he said, but I've never acted. I said, yes, you have. You <laughs> have now. <laughs> You're just going to be like, wait a minute. Hand me the mic. I was like, I'm ready. Go. I've got one too. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Kirk. It's been a pleasure to listen to you. Thank you, Kirk, so much. I love you for those words. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. Listen, I meant it. I'm not, I'm not, I, no. there's nothing, there's no hyperbole here. I am not exaggerating. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just, no, I'm I just emotional you. and hyped. But I, everything I said was accurate. I can, as a two time Emmy winner and a journalist, I'll let you know. I don't, I don't, I don't blow anything out of the water, right? I don't exaggerate, but there's no, I can't exaggerate enough. I can't, right. I, I can't say enough about the job that, that Jenny and Mao did bringing, but, uh, bringing this movie to life, making it happen. One, could never, one could never accuse you as such. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to give up uh, Roberto the black room right now because I know he's got to go. Oh, I, I'm going to. So love was that, what was that? I thought it was a, <laughs> One hey, Roberto, time. yeah. Roberto, I love that puppy. I, me va a dar algo. Hold on. Uno a la vez. Let Roberto go. Because I know he, you have another Zoom. And Kirk, you just, you know, I just want to, like, I, I still want to look at you for a second. No, okay. I'm going to sit in my hamaca then. I'm going to sit back on my hamaca. Yeah, sit in your hamaca. <laughs> that is Miami. Miami's calling us. We're going back to okay. Miami. So right, let's go. Okay, guys. Once again, man, thank you so much for letting me part of be, be part of your project, and and I know it's going to be a success. And uh, you know, good luck with the uh, the oncoming shoot that you have. And once again, if you need anything from me, man, just let me know. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. I'll see you soon. I will see. I will thank see you, you in Roberta. Los Angeles shortly, Roberto. Okay, I'll be, absolutely. I'll be, I'll be coming there in a couple of months. Okay, absolutely. Okay. Bye, guys. We'll all go, we'll all do dinner. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Roberto, and the puppy. Yeah. Appreciate you. All righty. So, who is in the back? Um, in the back room. Um, in the green room, I should say, the virtual green right. room, Bonnie. So we could bring them in. I don't want anyone to be waiting too long. Um, in At the, the moment, room. everyone who is here is here. Oh, okay. So I'm let seeing me, from let right me now. Them. Um, and um, Jessica, um, I just want to make sure that an Ariel, I want to make sure all of you are in the right link because Ariel, mm -hmm. I see my actors on Facebook and um, you need to be in the restream link so that we could bring you on stage. Um, I think it's that's actually, what it's a, it's a stream yard link. That's what it'll say. Stream yard. <laughs> <laughs> stream yard link. Yes. So check your email. There's several links. So you guys might have gone to, I think you went to the Facebook link or the YouTube link. So make sure you're in the right place. I don't want to miss you. Um, I love saying this. Actors, read your emails. Follow directions. <laughs> oh, yes. In all the, all the auditions at the end, it said they in bold letters, actors read your emails exactly exactly so <laughs> and there is quite a few links there there's there is a quite a few links to come into actors uh we're, we're hoping that oscar and tutti come in here as well and it, it's i'm just down. sending that link for everybody yes please just send that one because it's confusing there's so many links in that email <laughs> well they're all necessary but i'm sending just that link right now to the same people okay, great so okay, I know so we have Oscar is next, and then we also have Juliana, um, our, our, our one of jewel, our best productions. Our gift. Juliana and Adrian being our best production. She naturally was fans. born with a star in her, <laughs> on her forehead. On her forehead. Oh, <laughs> really? That's amazing. Oh, well, well, Oscar, I, I do appreciate Juan and Luis uh, being patient, but let's. Little Oscar's been sitting there waiting yes, patiently. He's been Oscar. such a good boy. I've seen his mom come in once. So, Oscar, how are you? Thank you for being on chat box with Sam. Oh, Live oh. stream. Hello, everybody. My name is Oscar, as you can see right here. And um, my mom is actually right here. Mom, and, mom, prima. Yes, she's right here. Hi, <laughs> mom. I'm uh, glad you give you give full permission for him to be on set. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. 
I was actually about to hop on my Xbox, but then I remembered I had a Zoom meeting. So <laughs> oh. I'm glad to be here today. Um, my mom told me to put on a wine shirt. <laughs> but you look, well, you look very Fantastic. handsome. So how did it feel being on set, Oscar? It was, how- it was actually pretty good. And when I first like got to the set, I w- I thought that I was gonna like ride the bullpen, but then I just know the story mm-hmm. more as as I went on. And then no, I didn't. I didn't ride it. I <laughs> you just sat in it. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I have to, Oscar. You just reminded me of the the. So he's in this scene with Luis, and it's all regarding this moped and what happens with this moped, right? Mm-hmm. It was our first day, and it's when the rain pour started in Miami. It the first day, day of our production, stop. we were like, what in the world is happening? We had 20 kids, and we had to move the scene somewhere else in that same location. Luckily, there was a cover in that school mm-hmm. where we were able to, to move because – Oscar had flown in the night before because his brother, uh, Ben, is also in the movie. And they nice. knew they came. And so we knew we had to shoot them out. We just knew we can't we get rid of the scene. And we, those, I mean, these we kids were pivot. pros. Yeah. Because they were in the midst of this downpour yeah. uh, shooting this scene. And uh, and so the scene came out a little different. Yeah, we had to simplify it. Simplify, and, but and it we actually, didn't really do the stunt right. because of the rain. But the kids were amazing. They were in great spirits. They were loving playing with worms. I mean, it was like, you know, Miami, Miami humidity in my high school. I, I'm, I shout out to LaSalle High School. Um, they um, were my very first location. Um, and in the school, we were able to use um, um, like four locations, four film locations in the amazing uh, LaSalle High School. In yeah. Miami. And, and Oscar, you know, when uh, we've been uh, coaching Oscar now for what, three, three years as a as uh, an actor, actor. And uh, he's a superstar in superstar. the making and, as well. And uh, and his brothers also. And when we when both of them were in our acting classes, we said we we have we these are our, are the two kids in the, yeah, in the, the beginning friends. of the movie. The Tino's friends, Tino's friends, Tino's friends, friends Tino's that we have friends. to use. But I'm also want to give a shout out to his dad and his mommy and his mommy, uh, Natalie Mendoza, who you just saw. <laughs> She's hiding out, and, Natalie. <laughs> and his dad, uh, Miguel Paredes. Yes. Um, they are our executive, executive producers, producers for the so film. So let's go. Uh, they have been our champions since day one. So we are going to give them. We all need those executive producers, don't we? <laughs> and, and I have to say that. They are we, a vitally important role. And, and I have to say this Oscar was cast before. We even talked business with with uh, Miguel and, and and Natalie. They were so they have been incredible through this whole process. Incredible, yeah. Uh, because uh, you know, so supportive. Their their family. Their their their. And yeah. this is a family affair. I mean, my reasoning for telling my story is because it's about family. It's about. Mm-hmm keeping your family together and united, no matter what happens, no matter how hard things get, and no matter all the mistakes that, um, you know, members of the family can make, it's all about forgiveness. And, 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 saying, and saying that, may we watch the um, the sizzle reel? Yeah. Let, yes. let, let's give people a reminder of her choices, sizzle reel. Yes. Let's the, do actual, the actual reel. I wanted to say yeah, one more. I oh. wanted to say one more thing about you know Natalie. Uh, you know she also came on set and um, and you know she didn't have to work and she mm-hmm. herself to work. She just wanted. She to, was a featured to, extra. To, Beautiful. To, to <laughs> she was a mom. And, she was a mom. Uh, kids. <laughs> and, and and I'll tell you, you know, I am so grateful. We are every we day are for our friendship. Grateful. I'm so grateful. Uh, You're welcome, all- Natalie, on chat box with yeah. Sam. Thank you for bringing your son on here. Absolutely. You know, the it's it's been an honor and such an incredible journey to 
I mean, just the whole process um, has, has really been um, such a significant, such a significant and a life changing blessing for Miguel and I, my husband and I, and um, our sons, Oscar, uh, Ben, and uh, Miguel Ankel as well. So we just want to say thank you so much. We're so proud and we can't wait to see what the future holds. Yes. You know, yes. Me too. I'm excited too for final production. Oh, we did say that this is gonna. This is part of the rap party, right? Yeah, this, this is live like stream. <laughs> we didn't get to have a rap party at all yet, so this yes. is our virtual first past party. So yeah. <laughs> all right. So you wanna you wanna play the video? Bring in anybody that's in the back room so that they're not waiting and we see their beautiful faces. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna we're gonna add Patricia right now as we start the video. Okay. Great. Hi, Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Why can't I can't hear anybody. We can hear you. Let me put my eyes on. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna. Can I hear anybody? Hmm. Well, we can hear you. Uh, let me type to you. Um, let's see. And and thank you, Lucito and Juan, for being patient. Can and you guys hear me? Yes. Oscar. Okay. Yes. Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. We're going to show video now. We're going to show video. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do that and we'll sort that out too. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to you, Patricia. This is the, my life. This is the scissor reel for Set her choice. In Miami in 1989 to 1995. I am so, so proud of this project and. I'm grateful to have my husband and life partner with me making this dream of mine come true. Mission in this film for us is to inspire people to never give up. Since she was young, she glanced at the stars, paid the dates, bell out her name. Hi, I'm Jennifer Behrens, and I am so excited to invite you on my journey in telling my story that's been in the making for 25 years. Yes, you heard it, 25 years. It's a story about never giving up on your dreams, about believing in yourself, knowing that you are enough, and knowing through love, courage, and forgiveness, especially when tragedy hits your family that you get to choose what your life is going to be. seen that one we have like three of them i hadn't seen that one in a while that was the first that, one we did that was one of the that first one is did. actually that's actually a compilation that was taken from your interview with the chat box with sam that she forwarded yes. to me i edited that this morning wow. <laughs> she put that together wow great yes. job great job thank you all right so i think patricia right. has sound now i patricia, i hear you we all you hear me? Okay. awesome <laughs> So, All right, so Sam, take it away and give us the next round of um, intros and who's going to speak. Okay. And so jump off like Kurt. Well, um, okay. Jump off. You can, I, this is a great time to to yeah. say ciao. See you okay. later. Okay. So, ciao. Ciao. Ciao, me. Uh, is it Miha? No, that's not Miha. It's Miho. Miho, Miho. <laughs> ciao, Miho. Well, yes. Well, welcome to Chatbox with Sam, Patricia. It's uh, an honor that you have joined us. I've interviewed um, 
Jenny and Mauricio before on season three in chat box with Sam and their story was so moving and we all have the same frame of mind with what we put out in the universe comes back and and it was so moving to me that I said yeah let's do this live stream let's do some crowdfunding for this project because I think many will be able to relate to the project so I'd like to start with um, Lewis first and then Juan and then Patricia, if you'd mind, because these gentlemen have been waiting. Of course. So, mm -hmm. And then if we could um, let Oscar go too when his mum comes back in. I do say mum because I'm from England. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so are you ready to go, Oscar? Are you staying? If you want to stay, you can stay. If you want to go, you can go. Um, can I leave in like a few minutes? Because yes. um, we love you. Thank you. Not Thank right you. now. Okay, so just whenever you're ready, know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just. I'm just going to ask everybody if they, apart from uh, Yanni from um, Mauricio, if you can just go on mute until when the one person is talking, not you, Lewis. Thank you, and then. Then we don't get any feedback there. Okay, welcome, Luis Lopez. How are you? Thank you for being on chat box with Sam. Please share your experience being on set of her choices. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, thank you, you Jenny Mauricio. Uh, it's, the experience was incredible. I've been wanting to work with Jen and Mauricio for quite a while. Uh, I'm a fan of them, of their work, everything they do. And being a, a personal story for Jen, it was even more personal for me. Because uh, I got to know a little bit more about her family, her story, what what she went through, and to play her her dad on screen is, I mean, brought me to tears. <laughs> uh, so that was pretty uh, pretty surreal for me. Um, and then I, I I got to meet Juan Juan Cardenas, who uh, we play brothers on screen and. No, it's incredible. I mean, and all I say to everyone, to anyone that's watching, anyone that will be watching this is help with the fundraising. Um, let's get this to the finish line. This is a worthy story to be seen, a uh, worthy story to be told, uh, to be seen all over um, all over the world. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's a personal story. And uh, she and Mauricio have worked their butt off Mm -hmm. uh putting this uh film together and i i mean i saw it first hand, so I, I saw both of them just going at it from putting on one hat taking up the other putting on the other one putting on the other and that's just incredible. i mean i've basically no words for it but so thank you oh well it's an honor to play someone's father anyway so yes. yeah I, I, perfect dad I, 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 wanted, perfect dad. I wanted to say this right um jennifer when we first had the script. Uh, Jen always wanted me to play her dad, right? Was, <laughs> and when she said, I want you, and I'm like, It's like, no. That's not going to happen. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> It's the wrong role, Jen. <laughs> and I know that Jennifer was looking for something very specific with mm -hmm. this character, which is. The soft side of her dad. The, the vulnerability. The vulnerability of my dad is just off the charts. Right. May you know he's in heaven now, but his vulnerability oh, was like no, I've never seen a man be so vulnerable in my life. Yeah. Ever. And Aww. and he also had an edge right to him, mm -hmm. and there was also I mean because I've seen pictures of it. There's something in the eyes that he was just this likable. And I didn't meet him, but you just see a look at the pictures. And right, just, you can tell. Eyes are windows to the soul. Yeah. And when we, when, when Louis said that he wanted to be a part of this, we already knew. It. Okay, that's that's he had every right. single he had every quality. And that. he hit. I mean, because we did have everyone audition, um, and he he was literally the one. Mm -hmm. The one that just the tears, the freaking he wasn't afraid. Heart, the really, it was, it was, I'm like, Everything. Oh, he made me cry when I saw, I was like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he found him, <laughs> you know, and it's just like, like, um, you know, Jenny, she, um, Anna, that's, 
you know, we just know. Like just we were know. talking about little Tino. It's like for that's why we always tell actors, you need to produce your own stuff and be on right. the side of the camera watching actors audition so that you understand the process. Because as actors, we're like, oh, I didn't get the part and this and that. It's like, no, it, it's not that you didn't do well. It's just that someone walked in and was that person yeah, that just, the director or the just, vision was looking for. And it's about, it's really trusting and knowing that you're going to be in every single project that you are meant to be in, period, as right. an actor. So if I can give any, you know, words of encouragement and love to my all my actors out there, and remind myself as well, because I'm still number one, an actress, right? Like that is my, the, my, the little girl in me is the actress. It's like, lo que está para ti, nadie te lo quita. That is it. And that's in you English, yes. In. Whatever is yours, is yours. <laughs> no, no, we will take it away. <laughs> you walk in and you, if you are that character, you are it. And, you know, and I got to say that it, it, the same thing happened with Juan when we saw his self tape. It was just like we just knew. It's just this thing that you know that you feel it. It's right. it's really magical, you guys. So yeah. and, so do your projects. Do your projects and, out and, there and do casting so you can understand. I know we both want. No, to I just get excited that. because we're both so excited. Video. No. <laughs> I watched Juan and Louise side by side. They're perfect. That scene, <laughs> yeah, the beginning is. of the movie in. It's like you just go. You can't deny that they're brothers. That they're brothers. <laughs> you just there was chemistry again because all actors, right? And we all know this: Patricia, Luis, Juan, Oscar. Okay, you, Oscar, can, you can unmute Juan. There are unmute. Oscar, everybody say bye to Oscar. Bye, Oscar. Love you. Thank you for coming. Bye, Oscar. Oscar. Thank you so much for being on chat. Bye, Oscar. There are times Thank when you. You, you enjoy you enjoy the Xbox, okay? Okay. Bye. With that, and that puppy's beautiful. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. I'm saying that we, right, there are times Ciao. when real chemistry with actors, mm. and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't. And it kind of <laughs> sucks when you don't because you have to, like, just really act. Really. <laughs> yeah. And I, do, I do have to say something. I want people to go to the events page. I've just posted a link on Facebook to this. This is also crowdfunding. It's the last part of the film. And there, uh, Jen and Mauricio are amazing coaches too, uh, acting coaches. There is many incentives. We can, they're also known as perks, but these are incentives which you can um, purchase um, acting classes or, or, well, do you want to talk about some of the incentives that are on? Yes, absolutely. Around the site. It's it's the seed, the seed. Yeah. And spark. It's yeah. the seed and spark. Yeah. You can change chairs so you can it's watch. the seed and spark campaign, and we have some pretty awesome incentives. Um, and we're starting, you know, at five dollars. Um, I really um framed each incentive around numerology, around the numbers, because again, I am a I, I believe in numerology. I follow numerology, astrology, spirituality, or say angel cards, fairy cards. You you know me. That's <laughs> I love that bell. <laughs> it's all about that energy and and really keeping our vibration high. And mm -hmm. every number is really uh, uh, has a meaning. So the first one is charismatic soul. It's $5, um, you get a shout out. Um, you know, five represents charismatic souls among many more beautiful qualities. So, it, and, and it's also the fortune of number, um, the, the number of fortune. Um, then there's um, the $11, there's $22 where we you get an ebook of one of our um, consulting producers, Alexia, I want to give her a shout out, Alexia Melochi, who is and has been an incredible support, a lifeline, um, a, a lifeline, lifeline for us, and she's been with us for over almost going on two years. Met her on Clubhouse, but um, you know she's really been on our on 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 our side, on our side, on our, side, our, on our team, on, on our journey, just really incredible. So support her in her new uh, her new um, book. It's an insider secret called um, Mastering the Hollywood Path with Alexia Melochi. That's only $22. You get the ebook. 
Um, also, you get for $33 a movie night, you get to watch our after school feature, which is um, and um, our Mi Amor featurette. They're both award winning um, films that we've done. Um, and so you get to see um, who you're backing and who you're, you know, vouching for. We, we kind of know what we're doing. <laughs> so that's who you do proof there. Um, and, um, then we've got, um, I'm excited about this one cause it's going to be, this is the launch of the crowdfunding and, um, fundraising events and, um, efforts that we're doing for the next seven weeks to get us back to Miami, April 1st. Um, this one's only $55. It's a general entrance ticket to the private Her Choices film teaser reveal red carpet party. So that's where it's going to be a private um, screening of two incredible sizzle reels that we have edited and perhaps maybe the first 10 minutes of the film, which we also have. We, we've been working nonstop with our editor, Stephen Murray, who is a, a, another talented amazing monster like wow um and um we have the whole film um edited already with the placeholders of the of the scenes that still need to be shot um and this is really exciting that this party is going to be great it's going to be off the chain like we say in miami it's gonna be off the chain bobby mommy let's go so that's gonna be <laughs> i've never heard of that one <laughs> <laughs> That's a I new one for me. <laughs> <laughs> it used Funny to be knows. off the hook, and then it evolved into off the chain. <laughs> and I'm sure but she, she, said, she said it in a different language, so I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 now for the new generation, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. Oh, it's lit! <laughs> it's lit! It's lit. Mm -hmm. Fire! It's gonna be oh, fire! It's, it's like an say. asteroid coming into the earth. And it, and it's you just leave. They say it's bussing, busting, busting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. The, the oh, new generation awesome. of, of um, slang yeah, terms. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So let's go to let's go to one because he's been sitting there very patiently, and I think okay. he needs to. All right. So go on to the the um seed and spark. The seed and spark, and you'll see all of that. Okay, guys. And there's also classes, and um, yeah. So anyways. and if you go to my um YouTube channel, the link is on there, and my Twitter account, I've just put it on there. My chat box with Sam Twitter account, and then I have Samantha JNS on Twitter and my Facebook. I posted it on my pages too, and. I think I think I've put it, yes, I've just put it on Instagram. That's when yeah, I'm doing it. And I've this. also just put it in both of the chats as well. That's awesome. Thank you, Bonnie. So Juan, welcome to Chatbox with Sam. Uh, her choices live stream. I would love to interview you um in season four. Are you located in Los Angeles? No. Hi, Sam. Pleasure being Hi. here. Thank you so much for having me. Hi again, Mauricio. Bunny, Patricia, and everybody watching us. Um, no, I'm actually based in New York. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm one of the actors of her choices. I play the adorable, charming, crazy uncle, Flacco. Uh, <laughs> is, is honestly one of the most amazing characters I've ever been, had the privilege to, to portray. And um, yeah, it's it's been, it's been a tremendous honor being part of this team, being part of this family, because by now I consider these two guys, Jennifer and Maurizio, like my family. And uh, I'm so excited for everyone to get to see what we've done, what we have still um, pending to finish. And hopefully with the help of people, we can uh, get to do that. And it's just, yeah, it's just an amazing ride. It's crazy. It's uh, warm, full of heart and uh, hardship and real and everything you can imagine and there's a lot of humor as well because it's venezuelan and uh, you don't get to see that on the screen a lot baby so i um i really hope that people can give us a chance to 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 finish telling this yes. story yeah thank you God. well, I well the, the the incentives are amazing you know and then having your credits put up on a movie that that's that's an, an incentive i like because on a project I uh, I was a live stream we did before my it was a great incentive to have credits put up and I use my grandchildren's names so <laughs> I, I I think that's great for family yeah. members children you know I didn't necessarily need my name up there to but to have my little Aria Jane's name up there my granddaughter I thought that was fantastic <laughs> so 
So mm -hmm. Luis Jose's um, iPad, um, unfortunately, it turned off. So he's charging. Hopefully, he'll be able to come back on. So if you're all wondering, where did he go? Where did the brother? <laughs> where did I he know. Yeah. Where's he go? Come back. He abandoned me. Luis, yeah. why you did it to me, man? <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when the going. All of a sudden, they disappear. Where are they? So what I, wanted to say, I wanted to say, I don't know if Juan knows this story. Uh, I don't think we've ever, is that, he, that we got the self-tape. Uh, again, we were looking for something very, very, yeah. very specific, right? Yeah. We saw his self-tape and we said, this is the guy, right? Um, and um, one of the things um, that happened, which is very interesting, he came in and auditioned in Miami again for the callback, call right? He did his thing and he left, and he forgot. I didn't know me because I wasn't. I wasn't able. I, I had. I was producing, so I wasn't able to be in the room when he did his callback. But I saw him walk out, mm. and like every actor, I know. All of a sudden, he's like, he was beating himself up already. In the audition, I don't know if you. I was watching you in the car. Yeah. What he didn't know is that it didn't matter because see, that's the thing and the beauty about us being actors, right? That we understand. We see a cell tape, we know it's there. We see a callback, and we still know it's there. Even if you think you might have screwed up, or or if you had screwed up. Mm -hmm. You just know within the three, four seconds if this is the person or, or, or it's not. And that's right. about being actors for us. We watch and we sit back and we we can stand in their place and go exact we know exactly where they are, the sabotage that happens, all the you know, the stuff that happens in an audition for an actor sometimes when they don't think that they've nailed it, right? And uh and he, he was already the guy. Yeah. We already knew that yeah. even at the callback. We already knew that. We just hadn't, a we hadn't seen him in person. We wanted to see him in, in, in you know, because sometimes in, on on Zoom you can't really. There's an essence, but we just wanted to see him just in real life. What what is this guy? And he is exactly black old, the Venezuelan guy. He again, it's got to be funny. So we got to know: Can you do the call? And, and likable, right? Yeah. Because. I'm right. I want it. I really want to under. I really want to impress this. That I love my family. Every single character, every single person in my family is was lovable, funny, alegre. We're Venezuelan. Like it's it's in our blood, in our nature. No matter mm -hmm. what the hell's going down, we're dancing and we're laughing and we're screaming and we're. And it's the passion and the love that I always got from all of these characters in my life that I'm able, that I was able to um, then get it together when I stayed alone and go, all right, I'm doing this and I'm going to help all of you because obviously you freaking like, what the hell, right? But the point is that in the, in the midst of all the bad choices, the love of family and the love of that that human love is there, the humanity of, of um, you know, this world that we don't see on television or in movies we've never truly seen. And that's, this is the flip side of a Griselda story. This is the flip side of a Scarface. Like you really, what, what are the consequences and what is the aftermath, right? What mm -hmm. happens to the kids of narco traffickers, of people that choose to be in that world at whatever level, because, Here's the thing, after watching all of the, you know, doing all the research, my 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 parents were really like indie, indie, indie. <laughs> they didn't do it like that, that. Like it was insane. I was like, what? That's not I didn't live that. Like, like I didn't, you know, see the 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 horrific of what you know Griselda's kids saw, right? So there's levels, different levels of every single situation and every single story. Um, I saw other things, right? Like, you know, like, uh, domestic violence. Like my dad definitely beat the shit out of my mom plenty of times, but you know, that's just mm. a different thing. Um, but the love and the, and the humor and the fun and the humanity of these characters, that is how I have really, um, directed all the actors to just, re it's not an idea or stereotype that we're, we're 
sharing with the world. It's human, real human experience. Experience, yeah. Uh, that's not true, guys. She's not a nice one. One and said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! What He's like, Shut up. Say your line. Stay there. He's like, hey, yeah. What happens on set? Stays but it works. On set. Just like Vegas, right? <laughs> oh my God! One. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> you just see me. You're paying attention. All the money's going down. Like, no, no, I'm kidding. Obviously. She's adorable, guys. She's the By best. the way, there's no refunds on incentives. <laughs> Six hours. <laughs> Once you pay, it's paid. When I got <laughs> up on set. I literally was channeling my mom. I live because I was in character as Mara. As your mom, yeah. And then I had to direct as well that my direction came out through the toughness that my mom is. And okay. some some actors, like my lead, Jenny, and especially in one scene, she was like, well, that, that to me, like I'm like, babe, I'm your mother right now, and I'm your director. Like I cannot <laughs> right. there was no human way for me to stay in the scene as an actor when I'm up here mm -hmm. and then speak to you softly as a director. Like I'm not a, a machine, like I'm a, I'm a human. Yes. So it was, it was, um, it was really interesting. And, and, and my first experience doing it and not easy guys, definitely okay. not easy. So I'm really proud of my actors and my, <laughs> my cast. And Patricia Ray. I definitely did did that. Um, oh, Luis, you're back. And Patricia Ray, we have a surprise with Patricia Ray because Patricia, she just she is literally the newest cast member of her choices. Oh, Listen. awesome! Well, welcome, Patricia. Would you like to unmute so we can hear? Well, congratulations on being the new cast member. Thank you. Thank welcome, you. Thank welcome, you. welcome to chat box. We. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you, Luis? I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow my brother as well. Where are we going, Luis? I don't know, but we're uh, going. Let's go to, yeah, let's go to have a beer. Okay. Okay, Sounds Luis. great, man. You, you're in. You're both in New York. <laughs> Six o'clock somewhere, right? Oh, look at that! <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. Bye. Have a great day. Thank you. Congratulations. Bye bye. Enjoy your beer in New York. <laughs> I will. Okay. Patricia hello. Ray, hello. Thank you for being on Chatbox with Sam. And congratulations Thank you for having me. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Maurizio. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you Thank for, you, you know, giving these filmmakers a platform to <gasps> put their hopes and dreams out, you know, to try and reach an audience, to involve people. Uh, mm -hmm. Filmmaking is a community. You don't make films by yourselves. So if we don't have the help and the platforms to reach out, you know, it becomes a very difficult journey. So, and it's already a difficult journey. It is. It's, it's, people don't realize how, how difficult it is in the industry. There's a lot of hours, hard work behind the scenes stuff that no one has any clue about because they don't work in the industry. And it is a lot of hard work dedicated. There's a lot of projects that get unnoticed um, or unfunded, um, and you know, and and the work has still gone in, and yes. mm -hmm. and, and especially and especially a story based on true story um, is very heartwarming and needs to be out there. And I hope it, I hope this one gets out there in the film circuits. A lot of people now are putting their films out in the film circuits and, um, and film festivals, and they get noticed there and and get awards at the film festivals. Yeah, and then it's been my pleasure to interview Yen and Mauricio and um, and do this live stream for them because you know that that's the way you you get the audience to pay attention and they come on here. I mean, some go and they don't stay for the whole couple of hours, but there's been a lot of guests on this show and we love doing this, Bonnie and I. So, um, so yeah, so we wanted to say thank you for being on Chatbox with Sam and I'd like you to share your role and how you're feeling in this particular role. Oh, and well. she, you, have you been on set yet? Cause you're a new cast member. No, no. I okay. Haven't. <laughs> no, no, she hasn't. And okay, well, that's that's yet to happen then. Uh, yeah, the yes. role is definitely a surprise role. Okay. That, um, you know, 
it's been 25 years in the making for me to tell my story. Part of it was getting my family's blessing to tell my story. Um, and, um, and then after so many, many years and then um, creating this, this version of the script to be more um, based on true events where I got licensed to just make it bigger than it was so that it's more um, commercial. Um, when we started last spring and then my family was on board, then all of a sudden they started telling me more. Hmm started telling me, oh, well, you know, this happened and oh, that happened. And oh, when I called my mom and I thanked her for after seeing um, um, cow co co what is it? Cocaine, cocaine cowboys. cowboys, I was crying. I was like, thank you for not um, being in that level of world. And she's like, we met you know, that person and we met those kind th that level. And it was very um, scary and dangerous, and we never wanted to go there. All I wanted was to pay your private school and the rent. <laughs> like that's all we wanted. We wanted just to have a chill life, you know. And um, and I I just and I also thanked her for taking the risk of coming to this country and bringing us here. And even though you know we I was undocumented for many years, and she was undocumented, and so was my um, a, a lot of my family. Um, because Venezuela then all of a sudden um, is, uh, is a um, communist country and I had to literally escape, uh, you know, take them out from there. So imagine me not having been brought here at an early mm -hmm. age, I would have been in a communist country right thank now. You. Yes, thanks. So I told her to thank her and, um, and then she told me, well, you know, we actually did time together, Griselda and I. Mm. what and she's like yeah i was it was um i was there during the time that her one of her sons got shot and um <sighs> we at the chapel uh you know in the in the in the jail mass we all were supporting her during that time i was like what like it was like it's like what mom and you hadn't told me this anyway so said i i want to I want to include that, and she's yeah. like, she's "Sorry, like, we do, we do need to, we do need to say hello to the guests that have just oh, showed up." Oh, oh, Oscar, Tore, Tutti, Tui. Hello. I love you guys. This is another power couple. They're oh, like they've at least my peeps. I love Tutti and Oscar. I've had dinner with them many times. I was looking up that I didn't really focus on people coming in. <laughs> I know, so I know, I know. I had to stop you. I'm sorry. And welcome, welcome also, Tony and Ariel. Hi, everybody. Yes, hello. hello. Welcome to chat box with Sam. All of you, as you know, Tutu and Oscar have also been on my, uh, have been interviewed on my show before, and they're amazing. Do you remember we were talking about the toilet paper at Tutu? My grandparents. <laughs> yeah. I still remember your story. Like that, you know, <laughs> decades worth of toilet paper in the attic. Wow. Right. I don't know My grandparents funny. hoarded it in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> we found it. So, sorry, sorry. I just had to say that because I thought it was a funny story. So, welcome. So, yeah, Patricia. Just to circle back to Patricia, when Patricia and I have been friends, uh, we did a film together over... Ah, my God, my son was three. He's going to be 23. So that's how long we've known Patricia. Wow. Um, and Oscar and Chuthi and oh, Ariel. I mean, we're, this is truly a family affair. Okay. I can't, I cannot even begin to, to express gratitude and the joy and the heart, heart like full of love that I feel to have my friends and my my people in this story with me in this project with me um and also it's people been so special right people that get it patricia and uh, oscar and and Chuti, um they're also movie makers themselves they're producers they're directors yeah the husband mm -hmm. is, is a director he's yeah. right they get what it is that we're doing yeah. yeah. Yes. He, uh, Mateo did offer to help you in any way with distribution and, um, you know, getting the movie out there. So, 
Thank you. Thank you, babe. So, 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 Patricia, just tell me how you feel. I'm super excited to be playing with you. <laughs> this, this, this is an amazing addition to the script, which is happening. Um, and uh, it's especially with, with the Griselda show coming on. And, and the um, and with the uh, Sofia Vergara's version of Griselda. Yeah. I, I don't know if Patricia knows that Jen has been talking about doing this for a while, right? Yeah. And yeah, so I she said, her. "It's gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this." And then and she then goes we to this talking. party, mm -hmm. and then she saw you at the Latinas acting up, mm -hmm. right? And, and Jen just, just always, yeah, Jen always goes with this intuitive thing that she, she's. A witch. Yeah, so we were at the party, we were having a little champagne, and, and then she says, would you be interested in playing Griselda Blanco in her choices? Um, and then she told me a little bit about how, you know, because I, I grew up partly in Miami, too, in the 80s. I went to high school, and so I think everybody's parents that were That's like, crazy. You went know, high school. Oh, I went to um, a Homestead. Oh my goodness! Oh. Down in Perrine, and then I graduated from Pompano Beach High School I up in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Oh my God! So then I was like, "Yeah, of course." I my I, we have our own Griselda Blanco story, kind of based on my mother, mm -hmm. and. Um, but you know, we put that on the back burner and we've been working on other projects. So I've been wanting to play Griselda Blanco for a really long time. So when you told me, would you like to play Griselda Blanco? I was like, yes, <laughs> I love to play Griselda Blanco. And then she was like, I'm playing my mom and we're gonna have a scene in jail together. And I was like, play Aww. with Jennifer on screen playing a character that I've been dying to play forever. I was like, well, it doesn't get better than this. <laughs> and, I, mean, I, get chills. I remember we were we were watching the show and I turned around to Jen and I said, Patricia Ray would have killed this part. I <laughs> no, said it. I'm not I kidding. I swear. And we totally talked about you know? it, which is why what I told you at the party, I'm like, I gotta just ask. I know you can say no. And you're like, why? Why would I say no? I know. Well, you know, I mean, people have said no to me a lot <laughs> in this process. <laughs> <laughs> and when you said, "Oh hell yeah," you didn't even think twice. I was like, "Oh my god, thank you, God. This is exactly how I want it in my life." Yeah. It's not and like me. you said, everything that's meant for you will always. What's meant for you is always on its way to you, always, you know. Yeah. And, and when and when she said, you know, to play Griselda Blanco, I said, yeah, but I'm not gonna play her the glamorous version. I'm gonna play the real. Yeah, the real shit. Really looked like when she was in jail. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna go there. Yeah. Yes. And I, and I, I want the audience to understand. Woo! Something. We we got our first. Donation fifty. Yeah. Yay. 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 Uh, what's what's Allie her name? Ali Lad. Um, and she couldn't do the event page for some reason. But if you go to Seed and Spark, mm -hmm. someone go to Seed and Spark and just try the five dollars, please. <laughs> Anybody can do five dollars and tell me if it's working. But she did mm -hmm. Venmo, and um, and it's for the private party for the um, reveal of the sizzle reels. Yay, Alex! Oh, that's awesome. And, and if you also go on to my pages, my the seed link, uh, seed and spark link is on my pages. They're on the events page. They're on Jen's page. Bonnie has also shared it. If if the uh, cast members please share the, the, the incentives are great on there. Please go there and, and then be part of this film, you know, yeah. get involved. Um, so, how much are you looking to raise, guys? Okay, so right now on Seed and Spark, thank you for asking that because on Seed and Spark, they recommend that you start slow, low, um, because it's it's easier to raise a smaller amount um, and, um, and then it gets greenlit and you actually get the money once you hit the 80% threshold. Um, so we put $43,000 there 
but that's $43,000 for one day of production. We need eight days of production, right? So do the math. It's like 350 mm -hmm. to 400 for, for so just so the more we get, the more um, we'll have for post. Yeah. But 43 nice times. Yeah, it's 344,000. So. Yeah. Exactly. And then and then we add the, um, right, we make it 400,000 because I add the post onto it. Right? Post and, and But publicity. right now, our main focus is to just get this shot, right? Get it in right. the camera. Put it in the can. And uh, and saying that, I do want to say about Patricia and Oscar and Chuki and um, Ariel, uh, these are actors that have been in the business uh, long for a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, in the know, trenches with in us! In the trenches. Woo! Uh, <laughs> 35 <laughs> years. Totally. Know, and, and these are people that we have looked up to, that we, we love, that we, love, that we who's, you know, that um, and they, to us, it's like, this is what happens in the business, right? I can't. I would never think of calling Patricia Truthy or Nostra and saying, hey, guys, can you know this? No. These are people that deserve the respect. Air, you know, Ariel, Oscar, Truthy, and, and Patricia, they have earned their stripes in this, in, in this business. And what we believe in, and this is part of the mission, is to push everybody out and always be a lifeline for everybody because we believe that for us, they are stars. They just are. Yeah. Their Thank work, you. their you. work. Yeah. If you go look at all rides, uh, you look at the haves and and have nots. Uh, Truthy is doing the festival route right now with these incredible uh, films. That films doing. And, and you see their work, and they're amazing. Yeah. So, you know, we thank them for 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 being part of our of, family of, of this. <laughs> totally, <laughs> we love it. You. you have to be a part of the family. <laughs> the her choice is family. Yes. Yes. You are. So, Chute, so thank you very much, Patricia, for sharing. Chuti, I will start with Chuti and Oscar because they, they came here first. Um, so what I've seen the sizzle trail. Uh, we, we just posted the sizzle. Sorry, the trail. Trailer. <laughs> and Oscar and Chuti are in the film. And they played in many, many films and they've got their own productions going too. I'm really glad they're here on the live stream today. How did you feel being on set of her choices, Oscar and Chuti? Oh, oh my gosh. Honored. Honored and inspired by you guys. Literally. And, okay, inspired not only by the production itself, but the story. I mean, really, Jen, oh my gosh. And and I love, it's a refreshing take on an age-old story. We have a lot of stories out there on streaming uh, platforms and movies and blah, blah, blah of of drug lords and whatnot. We, it's, it's all so exciting. Narcos, blah, blah, blah. What about the people that are affected? The people that don't buy into the culture but are having to deal with it. I don't have a choice to be living in that world. Exactly. Right. So it's so exciting to be part of of this journey that on so many levels. It's very inspiring. By the way, I I don't want to be rude, but um, because we have another call, um, yes. it's actually starting now, but we'll stay a couple more minutes. So <laughs> just want. No, I, I appreciate you being here, both of you. We all do. We yeah. get. I love it. I love it. Let's take a quick picture. And Oscar, you you um share. Smile one two three. <laughs> you, I yeah, can't. I need to take I need to take a picture too. Actually, while we're taking pictures, okay, okay. we just share for the pictures. Yeah, no, no. that's all. We'll, we'll share the pictures. Yeah. I'll send it. Everybody Go say her choices. Her choices. Her choices. <laughs> Thank you. <Yay. laughs> so, Oscar, how did how did it feel to be my my savior, Mara's, you know, tow truck guy? Uh, to, that it was not a tow truck. <laughs> That I was not a, I go, that's not a tow truck, Jen. I don't know in Venezuela or where you're from. That's not a tow truck. That's like an airplane you're having me drive. <laughs> and I can't drive that. Behind the that scenes way. footage. <laughs> no, so that, was, that, was, that was great. And it was fun, that scene and, and the energy that Jen brought. It wasn't, it wasn't Jen. I mean, it wasn't the Jen that I know when I got to set and I saw her with that tight red dress and and Everything's <laughs> out. It's energy, really quick energy. I looked like she was on coke or something. She was oh like, my god! I'm like, whoa. 
<laughs> and it was it was fantastic being on set and playing that that fun role uh, opposite mm -hmm. you and and um, and being the literally the driver that drives you to to that point in the story. Uh, I thought that was a great scene, and I was just happy to be in it because I think you asked yeah. Judy first. So as an actor, right away I go, "Oh, that's awesome!" Huh? I'm like, yeah, they didn't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they must not like me. That's not oh, true. They don't like me. They don't like me. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Love you. I'll tell you exactly what happened. You know, they're, 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 again, for actors, there's no small parts. Are there small parts? No, no, right? no, no. So um, we always thought about you for for. There were two roles already in that in that movie. Oh, you know? we got and, an. Sorry, we got another another donation. Four hundred dollars. <laughs> I can't understand it, but Glenn, thank you thank so much. Thank you so much, Glenn. Thank we you, Glenn. Glenn. We appreciate Glenn. you. And anybody else that wants to donate and have their name in their credits and and then have some acting lessons, then there's great yes, incentives on there, there, and you will get a shout out on the live stream. No, no, so. so go back to to Torre. Torre. So tell me. So one of the things about which happens in production, right? What we found out, it is almost impossible sometimes to find cars, period cars, in Miami. Okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. tried everything everywhere to find a tow truck. We could not find it. Hours driving around. Looking. I know, it's all modern. It's all modern. So 1989 tow truck, and the only one we found, they never answered because that's a, also very... Very common in Miami. People don't answer the phone. Oh, they answer. You might get that call at some point in the next yeah. two years. Right. Or they call, and this is what happened during production, right? All of us have faced it. And they get on set, and they, they see the production, and they go, they up the money. Uh, oh, they, oh, they yeah. The money. yeah they, they say, esta gente tiene dinero. These people uh, money. <laughs> that happened a couple of times. <laughs> That's just mean, isn't it? Just, it? it just happens. It just, they think they see the car and they... Well, they think well you know what? They, it's that they embody what the movie's about. It's the survival thing. It's absolutely true. Yeah. So I'm trying to survive. Trying Everybody's to hustle. trying to hustle. Yeah. People have, it, people have a stigma. About. People that are working the industry <laughs> think that everybody in this industry is full of gold and, and loaded. And that not loaded as in drunk, but loaded as in, in the bank account. <laughs> yes. But they're not. They're working actors. And you know, and, and, and with the strike, and then with COVID, and then the strike, a lot of people are struggling. Yeah, it's not right. it's not cheap to make a movie, and a lot of people are struggling anyway. So, right. um, so yeah. yeah, that's that's why we do these crowdfundings and ask for incentives and give perks and and incentives away to get people involved and um, to help make a movie. So that's what it's about. It's not cheap. So yeah. chat box Sam doesn't oh, mind you, you doesn't mind asking you for your money. <laughs> yes, we so love awesome. you guys. Oh, you guys gotta, gotta go. go. Yes, Our, we do have to go. Okay, All right, darling. You Thank you so I'll be I'll be Bye. in Los Angeles. Thank I'll be you. in Los Angeles soon and I will see you both soon. That'd be great. Well, do Take you care. Know. Much love. Contribute. Love to you guys. Courses. Love you guys. Um, Bye. 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 Great couple, um, absolutely let's watch love the them. Video, Bonnie, right now, let's let's take a moment to, to watch the video, and then we'll come back to the father and son duo here. Patricia, I I I want you to stay. I think that <clears throat> you're you just if you have to go, I I understand, but I just wanted to acknowledge everything you said. I'm so grateful. I love you, hermana. Like seriously, um, you know. When we went to do the volunteering at the um, at the dog um, rescue um, shelter, and we ended up washing di the the dog's dishes like a hundred of them, yeah, like over a hundred of them. In my mind, I was like, "Yeah," and at that moment, I didn't have the courage to talk to you about it. I it's can't believe that. That is so like not like you. Well, it was just. 
I just wanted to be, you know, super transparent and authentic in, and vulnerable that I was afraid that you were going to say no. And I was like, I don't want to ruin this moment. I'm really enjoying this fucking moment. We're having fun. I don't want to make it <laughs> other than us just volunteering. <laughs> yes, you know? And, and, but in my mind, I was like, whoa, this is like, we could be in, in a jail right now, freaking doing dishes in the kitchen. You know what I mean? So yeah. I feel like of all the years that I've known you, that I, that was a really a moment where we like really got to bond because it was a, just about us. It wasn't about acting. It wasn't about anything. It was about us giving time to, yeah. you know, help these dogs get adopted and just real grounded yes. and, and you, you know, so, but thank you so much for asking me to be a part of this project because I feel like there's so much competitiveness in this industry mm -hmm. and we don't reach out to our fellow actors. And it's not like Jennifer and I really go out for the same roles because I'm a little bit older than her, but there's still a sense of competitiveness, like, because there's just not enough work for us. That's why we no. need to create our own work. And when we do create our own work, we need to support each other and write roles for our friends and make it a community. So yeah. I am right. so honored that you asked me to be a part of it. Thank oh, you, thank Mommy. You. I'm honored that you're here, Patricia. Thank if you, you for if ever want to interview on chat box with Sam for season four, you are welcome. Oh, I'm I, interviewing, I am interviewing in the studio and also over Zoom for people that are out of state or out of the country. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you, you very much. Don't watch Patricia's work. Go watch All Rise. All Rise. Yes. Uh, it's, yes. It's phenomenal. Well, she's she's um, it's on HBO. It's on Max. It's on Hulu. Um, but I have, you know, watch The Big Wedding. That's a beautiful movie. Maria Fuller Grace. Maria Fuller Grace. Grace. Movie. Maria Grace. Yeah. Let's go to the Oscars again, Mama. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> All of that for you and more because you guys work so hard. Mm. You're always hustling. You're always creating. As creators, we need to create we were born to create in every aspect of our lives and i think that when we're not al allowed to create because we're waiting for someone to validate us mm -hmm. with a job offer yeah. that we forget that we don't have to have permission no you don't need to give me permission to go out and tell my story That's i right. can do it for myself and we have to remind ourselves and support our each other when we do take those leaps of faith and those risks to yes. do that. Thank you. Thank you. And that's been part of my journey that I've been stopped so much in the last 25 years because I was waiting to be validated. I was waiting to be saved. I was waiting for someone to come and say, okay, I, I'm doing, let's do this for you. And it's like, no, I had to like really just take that, that position of like, I need to be unapologetic and mm -hmm really tell my story and and just do it and absolutely do it. And I'm so grateful to have an incredible partner that has supported me. But it wasn't like that at the very beginning. At the very beginning, when I told him about my story, he kind of tripped out and he was like, oh, uh, shit. I'm not the producer for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the right guy. And you're not going to pay her father either. <laughs> I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. As a husband, you just don't want to be part of of the failure of it. What if I can't come through emotionally the way yeah. I need to, right? And I do believe that it fell in the time that first I had gotten already, I have 12 films uh, producing and then music videos and web series. I, I've spent 12 years really, what now I understand as getting ready for this production because it's right. really high um, scale production that we're doing here. So it, I really emotionally was getting ready. So now I am absolutely and here to be able to serve her in the way that she needs to be served. Mm -hmm. And 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 it really is about that. I, I'm here, like Patricia said it, I love what I do uh, as an actress and a producer, but I also love my wife. And 
Aww. This is an important to her and her feeling in her life that I felt, I feel that, <laughs> you know, we're in this journey together in, in las buenas and las malas and the good and the bad. And we're going to do this at all, at all costs. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, yeah. I'm really proud of, of, of where we are right mm -hmm. now. And, uh, you know, and here we are. Yeah. So thank you, Patty. Yes, gracias. Oh, thank you. So let's let's go and watch the trailer just for a second. Um and then and then let's get back and speak with Tony and Tony and Ariel. Uh I'm not very good with last names. Uh, could you please pronounce your last name for me? Uh, there's a couple of ways you can pronounce it. You can pronounce it uh, lean ass. <laughs> <laughs> like that one. Is, is there another is there another option? Can I go to yes. option B? <laughs> the other option is lion ass. It, it, in, Spanish, it, in Spanish, the double L is a U sound, like a your. So it's yeah. Lina. So it you, know. yes. you know what? I'm glad I asked you now because you've all had a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I'm fine>. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? I, I'm just saying welcome to them because I'm so grateful to have them. Yeah, I'm so glad. I put your photos up on uh, on social media, and I'm really grateful for you to attend in chat box with Sam today, both of you, and agreeing to be on the live stream of her choices. So if we go to the uh, sizzle or the trailer. Um, and then we'll come back and speak with you two gentlemen. I know your father and son, and then you can share your experiences on set. Do. Okay, here we go. Yep, here I go. I have to... Oh my God, lean ass. That's too much. <laughs> you know it's where... coming, I promise. <laughs> you know where this goes, right, Ariel? You know what? You just started. <laughs> yeah, if we're gonna regret. Imagine, imagine what I went through. There we go. Sorry, everybody. Since she was young, she danced the This is 25 years in the making. I look back and I realize that I was crowned Miss Team Miami to take care of my family, uh, because that's what queens do. And as a young girl, I didn't understand it and I hated it and I felt abandoned. I felt alone and I felt thwarted in my journey. Part of my dream was to come back home to Miami because I left Miami with a lot of pain and I pretty much was escaping Miami. Hi, I'm Jennifer Behrens. You can call me Jenny from Miami. I'm very excited to invite you on my journey. I'm the writer, director, and one of the producers of Her Choices. It's my biopic of something that happened to me when I was 18 years old, and it caused a lot of shame and pain in my life. And for the last 25 years, I have gone through a healing journey that I now want to share with the world because if you or anyone that you know is suffering from shame or hiding in their own life this story is for them I ask you to join our journey because we are not starting from scratch thankfully we have only eight more days of production left and we need your help now so that we can get back to Miami in April and wrap this baby and send it out to the universe for all of you to see. Please join me, help our team to get her choices on the silver screen. Thank you, I love you. For me to tell my story has always been a way of liberating myself from the shame that I have felt for many years in my healing process of writing and sharing my story, I'm able to help others do the same with whatever shame they might be carrying. I realize that we come here to learn and grow and it's not supposed to be perfect. I thought I would tell my story sooner where I can actually clean myself, but now I'm gonna be playing my mom, which in the process has given me so much empathy and understanding of what my mom went through and her choices. 
so it's perfect. <laughs> it's actually perfect that I'm playing my mom. <laughs> This story is about survival. This story is about what happens when you think you're going one way and life throws you a huge curveball and says, nope, you gotta go this way. It's a story of forgiveness, of redemption, of family. Everyone's life experience is so unique and different and as human beings we're gonna go through challenges and we're gonna have so many obstacles in life, period that it's not one thing that is causing the pain or anything else. It's really our own interpretation of what's happening. And it's a beautiful, messy, delicious, painful, and happy life. Enjoy what there is to enjoy, suffer what there is to suffer, and keep going. <laughs> Yeah, I love that trailer. I think that's that sizzle. That's great. So, so uh, Tony and Ariel, father and son, please share your experiences, what you felt on set, and the emotions, and and what you came away from that with. Well, I'm gonna hop off, but that yeah. trailer is so beautiful, and you guys did so much work, and you deserve all the success that is coming your way. Thank you for putting your story out there. Thank you for making um, our stories vulnerable and a part of the fabric of the Latino community that needs to be told, that needs to be seen, that needs to be understood and shared. And much success. Thank you for inviting me on this journey. I love you. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Welcome Gracias. to the Mwah. Well, you are I'll just knock my earpods out. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to Mateo for us. Yeah, I will, and we'll talk because we got we can help you. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Patricia. I can't wait to hear from Lean Ass. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, there, and there's there's two of them too. <laughs> he does have a pretty lean body, and he does have a nice tushy. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to thank uh, both uh, Jennifer and Mauricio for having us. You know, it was uh, for us. It was very emotional. For me, well, for me, I don't buy him. It was very. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both of us. It was. Uh, let's go back to the beginning. So, in the very beginning, I remember my son. We helped each other out with auditions. I remember he said, "I, Dad, I need your help. Uh, I got this audition for a movie." And I said, "Well, let me see the breakdowns." And I started reading the breakdowns, and then I saw the director and I saw my used to the picture. I said, "What?" <laughs> so, uh, so I prepared him for the audition. And then he auditioned, and then I sent them an email to saying, "Hey, you know, keep an eye out for my son." Blah blah blah. And then uh, after that audition, Dad, I think how many how many auditions did you guys give him? Like six or seven, right? <laughs> well, it was really? uh, he got to read with um, different. It was like the last four guys and the last four girls. Yeah. And I had to, or was it three? People have to understand. Because we were doing everything on Zoom. On Zoom, and we needed to see the, chem the his, chemistry. Tony was one of the so, leads in the film, right? Right. So he plays he plays Jenny's boyfriend who helped her through um, it all. And, um, and you know, it's their first love. They were their high school sweethearts. They're, you know, just their first everything. Um, and so it was so important for me to find two actors that connected and looked like they were a real couple. Um, and, you know, PJ and Jenny, PJ danced um, her, her quinceanera with her. He was the, the, the boy. So, you know, it was that, that connection that I really truly needed. And I also wanted, um, the lead Jenny to be Venezuelan, um, and um, and but that that's another. Hopefully Jenny can um, join us today. Anna, she's in New York, so we'll see if she can join us. But um, I'll leave that story for when she's here. But Tony did get to play with all the uh, all the actresses on screen on YouTube on YouTube. Oh my God, on Zoom. Zoom. And it was a long process. 
He became well. He became he one was. of the front runners, yeah, right? For sure. He became sure. one of the front runners. Um, it was it, it, it. And I think for for Tony, right, as an actor, it's like, wow, you get to play this scene with this many amount of people who do it quite differently. Yes. And he was always able to go with whatever the other actresses were doing, which is very difficult for some young actors to do. Because you know if they're listening in the scene or if they're not. Yeah, because acting is all about listening. Right? So. They get like, this is the way I'm gonna play it. And you know, he went all the way to the end and yeah. now he's he's yeah, here. But that was, what's and now you're movie? here on chat box with Sam. But I'll share with you. Interrupted you guys. We need to let people speak. Yes. I'll, I'll share with you. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> on, on his last audition. But, sorry, carry on. It's okay. I'll show with you on his last audition. I asked him, so you think you did you get it? You think you got it? He goes, Dad, I don't think I got it. I said, well, what happened? He goes, I didn't they wanted me to get really emotional. I got kind of halfway there. And I was like, oh man, I'm sorry, son. I said, next time just poke yourself in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he got it. And then uh, next thing I know, you know, he's on, he's on his way to Miami. And you know what? I said to him, I'm not going to let you go by. Because I had an audition for this uh, at, at that time. I said, I'm not going to let you go by yourself. And all that good food in Miami? No, no, no. no. I want to. No. I used my airline miles to tag along with him. And go ahead and start telling your story. Oh, man. So, yeah. So the audition process was, you know, I, it was a good experience getting to work with so many different actresses and seeing their take on the script because I had played it a certain way in my head and my dad like gave some insight of how to play it differently. So I had these different views, but when they showed their version of it, like Marisa used to said, I had to adapt my acting to match what they were doing. And like, it's definitely pushing me. And this goes to on set too. This is my first film. So getting to be on set and um, work with such amazing people, you guys are the best. I'm so grateful for you guys. Aww. Um, but you guys are just, you know, pushing me to do my best and uh, I love it. This is, this is what I love to do. And you guys are, you guys are great. And yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, pushing my, my, uh, my skills as an actor and that's what I want to do, you know? Absolutely. We've grown so much from, from the first audition to, um, what you see on screen, you know, we've edited everything and you just are PJ, you are that. You are my high school boyfriend. Like you are. Oh. <laughs> it's really incredible to watch and go, holy moly, it's it's trippy. <laughs> and um, and then you know, because this is such a family oriented piece, husband and wife, my daughter Juliana, she was here earlier. I'm gonna have her come and say hi. Um, she's playing me younger, um, Juthi and Oscar, husband and wife. There's just so many real life, like family members that PJ's dad wasn't cast yet. And hey, can, can I tell that story? <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. So, so this is what happens. So, so we flew there and he's on set working at the pageant scene. Right. So I'm going around town, picking out, you know, Cuban food, Venezuelan, well, Colombian food. And I come back, you know, and everybody's on the set, they're all working, everybody's hustling back and forth. And I, I kind of felt like, man, I should be doing something. I should be helping out. And, and Jennifer was walking by. I said, Jennifer, uh, hey, you know, if you need an extra or something like that, I, I, I can help out, you know, I'm sad. And she's like, oh, no, 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 we have different plans for you. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and, that's when Mauricio and Jen let me know that I was going to be playing Tony's dad, but you know, they, they had to audition me first. <laughs> oh, I think it's I think it's fantastic that they chose you both. He did not audition. He's lying. Yeah. Hello, Jessica. Hi, welcome guys. to, welcome to chat. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Welcome to chat box with Sam and live stream of her choices. How are you? Hi guys, I'm good. I saw you guys earlier today. I'm, I'm in the middle of a class all day, so I'm I'm, I'm literally in my five minute break. I love it, <laughs> mommy. Do this to your phone quickly. Oh. There it is. Okay, so know. guys, let's give Jessica the floor for a few minutes because she's got she's doing a a seminar with Terry Berlend from here. 
and, yes. and Terry Berlin is in Miami. Say say hi to her. Send her my love. Uh, she's awesome. I will. I so sure will. Us your role, what you play, and what your experience was on set. Well, um, I I play Tia Gloriana, and I was very happy when I read the breakdown because it was all about Venezuelans, and that is very rare nowadays in Miami. Like they when. You don't hear they are looking for Venezuelan actors to play Venezuelan roles in a Venezuelan movie. Because typically when they ask for Latino actors is to play what we know. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect, which is, you know, amazing. But when it is this specific, it is amazing. So you can play, you know, in your own culture, in your own accent. It's, it's, it was just delicious. So um, I applied for the, I submitted myself for, for the, the audition. Tia Gloriana, it is a beautiful character. I, I'm really happy to play her because she's just devoted to the family. Like everybody in this family, every member, she's devoted to, to play, you know, the, to parent, to love, to care for, for her family, for Jenny, for all the little kids. And she's Aww. just a very, very human person who who is put by life in this vulnerable position and she just they don't in this family they don't think twice about you know mm -hmm. doing what's right for the family and and they're there for each other oh, so that's special. that is also a beautiful beautiful thing now my experience once i came to to meet uh jenny mauricio and everybody involved it was hard to believe almost because the way I felt when I read the story, I found out that it was pretty much the feeling uh, from everyone that was involved. Like we all wanted to be part of the story. We all wanted to, to give it our all. We all wanted to, to be there for the greater good or the bigger picture. And it was in my experience, one of the few, I hope it is, it's going to be multiple times in my life when I'm in a, on a set with this intense energy of everybody wanted to <clears throat> be there and <laughs> give it their all and with so much love. And I hope this is the one of the few and more and more and more to come in my career because I just want to be in sets like this. <laughs> I love your energy. It's fantastic. You've all had great energy on this show today. And, you know, it's lovely. It's really, it's really nice to listen to and watch you all. I love it. I, it was I, a lovely experience. And uh, if anybody listening to the story, it's still doubting to help out. I mean, uh, there's so much in this story that it's so inspiring for so many people. It is so, I think, valuable to people to hear that literally every story matters. Every, mm. <sighs> and my voice is trembling a little bit because I know that so many people need to listen to, not, not to look down, not to feel ashamed, not to, not to put themselves down for where they're, they're coming from, their past or their past circumstances. That has nothing to do with you. And myself included, we have so many things to learn from this story. Thank you. I love you so yeah. much. And I'm very, very um, lucky and I'm fortunate and I love to be part of this story, this cast, this project. And I want to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you all again. Yes, exactly. Oh. My, my character, my, uh, my aunt, my Thea, my youngest Thea. And so Mara and, and, uh, and Gloriana are sisters. Yes. Oh, yeah. awesome. Awesome. Yes. Well, we've been playing the trailer a couple of times and we've got the um the link for the incentives out on Facebook and um and social medias. And um we've been had quite a few guests on here today, so I hope many people can still watch this. They can still watch this um on my YouTube and on the events page and 
and it will be posted out and sent as well to uh, to Jen and Mauricio. So it's been absolutely fantastic. And thank you so much, Jessica, for getting in here and, oh, and uh, sharing thank your you. thoughts. Thank Jessica. you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having me. And uh, I have to go. I know, Mommy. I love you. Thank you so much for posting on social media, My on your pleasure. story, your support, your incredible talent. My absolute pleasure. I mean, every single actor is an incredible actor on, on this film. Um, Jessica has an incredible light. She's a star. So awesome. Look for her. And literally, it's um, a, a Venezuelan sister that I, I love, love so much. So thank you, Mamita. Well, I would love thank to interview so on. Much. I would love to interview you all actually on Chatbox with Sam for season four. Absolutely. Anytime. And can show you. OK, I've got your email. I'll be. I'll be hitting you up very shortly. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I would love to. And you Thank too. Thank you guys. Too. I'll talk to you later. Tony. Yes. Wow. Okay. Bye. 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 Gracias. Ruben in the back. Is Ruben, Ruben's trying to get in. Ruben Rabaza. So I, I want to pick up with Ariel. Yes. Quick. Thank I, you, Lena, for, for you know, yeah. giving it. <laughs> That's it. You're forever Lean Ass. So how <laughs> uh, Ariel I, Met in 1999, it was my first series uh, on television. I was one of the regulars, and he came on as one of the guest uh, guest starring roles. And what happens in this business, right? It's it's either you hit it off with people and you become longtime friends, and or you don't. And more than not, you don't, right? Yeah. Which is what, what Patricia says is true. There's a mentality about this competition that happens within people that they they feel like they're inside each other's space. And the truth is, what a Jennifer and I believe is that we're not in competition with each other. We're not in competition with each other. I'm always in competition with myself. Jen is also in competition with herself. And that's just how I've always been able to go about my career. And Ariel and I, from the moment we met on set, just became instant friends. Yes. Just, and, and we've been friends ever since, um, you know, and like with the passage of time, there are moments where we see each other a lot and there were moments that we don't, but every single time we come together, it's like no time has passed. And that is um, Ariel to me. Um, and I, I don't know if he knows this, but one of the things about Ariel that I admire um, is his dedication to his family, we have the same sensibilities. Loves his wife, loves his children. Also, Good traits. Thank you, thank you. Also family an, man. He's an entrepreneur. He's also got another business that he, oh. that he runs, a marketing business that he runs besides being a, 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 a working actor. Mm -hmm. uh, always, there's. he's also got that strength about marketing and he can also talk about that a little bit. And what, he he's also what I believe is that it's all for the good of his family. And that's how he lives his life. All for uh, the good of his family. And I know I, we went to his house last week for a barbecue and I just like, I got home and I just said, man, I, I am so lucky to have a heart. Yeah. With a full we heart. Both did. I am so it was, glad that brilliant. I, as a man <laughs> that I have friends like Ariel in my life, because it's tough to find guy friends that have mm -hmm. that same kind of circle that right. are so committed to their families and what it is that they do. And, and he pushes his kids to be the best that they can be. Yeah. Right. And, that, and I just wanted it. And I knew that I would share this with him today because. Thank you so much, Marisha. That means a lot. It means a lot. To me. because you, he called, he called us uh, for, because of, of Tony. Right, and he he didn't call and say, "Hey, hey, 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 is there a part for me?" No, no. He, his son. Yeah, he and came to Miami for the food, right? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't need anything for me, but little did he know that once we had cast Tony, he was already cast as the dad. We yeah. just we were so yeah damn busy that we hadn't right. gotten around to right to right. tell him. And that was that's also again part of my vision as a director that if we could. Um, cast the roles to be truly, truly family, that only makes it for a deeper experience and a more authentic experience. 
And for me to tell my story, it's all about the authenticity of this experience, the flip side of this experience. And if there's so many, there's millions of, of experiences when it comes to this world. And my, my um, interpretation of this story, of my story is as authentic as it will get. I mean, as it can get, because that's been my vision. And another thing that I want to say and shout out, give a shout out to my incredible crew that honestly, I never in my wildest dreams thought that I was going to have a pretty much 99% Venezuelan crew in wow. Miami. When I set to tell my story and to make my film, I never even thought uh, for me, it was like, no, it's the first Venezuelan American story. We need to tell our stories, you know, um, and this is and I want authentic Venezuelan actors from Miami, authentically Colombian. from Miami, authentic Colombians, authentic. You know, when I say authentic, it's like from the place. Right. Not mm -hmm. so. Um, I can't even. My I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to it, but I do have a request. So, oh. um, but Barroeta. Barroeta, Barroeta. Mm -hmm. he is truly an angel. So talented, Venezuelan. Um, Amazing. Everyone in Cascabel in Miami, they're just so talented, and they're also a family. They truly, uh -huh. literally, like blood. Yeah. Their family as well. That they've created this incredible business. Of filmmaking, they went to college together in Venezuela for film, and they right. all left Venezuela during the Chavez time, communism, where so many of my brothers and sisters, my Venezuelan brothers and sisters, have had to flee the country because of the political atmosphere. Mm -hmm. That this particular family came to Miami mm -hmm. to make films, and. Right. We got so blessed to get connected to them. So not only in front of the um, camera do we have real family members playing family members, but behind the the camera, the scene, we have yeah. behind the scenes, members making this story a reality. So um, again, Julio, Julio you, Saldarriaga from Sky you, West Pictures. Um, it's not Sky West. It's Sky. Wait, Sky I didn't say Sky West. It says I, Sky I, I, West. <laughs> It's not Southwest. No, it's Skyway. <laughs> Southwest Airlines. Free baggage. <laughs> oh, God. I hope we didn't promote them. <laughs> so, yeah, so this big shout out yeah, to, to, them. to that. But I wanted to finish it in saying also with, with, with Tony, right, that, you know, he, it, nepotism works to a certain extent, right? In this case, hmm. we... When he called me, there was a bit of nervousness, right? That happens because you're just got, oh, please be good, right? <laughs> but he, it's Ariel. I'm like, oh my God, please be good. Yeah, yeah. And he, uh, yeah, and he totally was. Right. Yeah, totally. So it was so exciting to mm. watch Tony go through this thing mm -hmm. and for us to be able to, to, he yeah. earned it on his own yeah. back. Totally. Earned it on merit. Yeah, but I, what I want to add about it's PJ. It's the young couple, right? It's the love story that's in that is part of the story. I honestly, I'm like, it was, and here's here's a lesson for for actors listening out there. When and we talked about this when we went to your house um, last week. When you get an audition and the age range is not your age range, mm. don't dismiss it and automatically cast yourself out of the role. Because what happens is casting directors bring in different ranges, right? The older version, the middle version, and the younger version right. of characters. And for us in our process, we literally had the younger version, the authentic 22 year olds, okay, which was Tony and Anna. And then we had the older version, which was mid 20s, that still looked young, but mm -hmm. had and had more experience, more and more like life experience. You could see that they had more life experience, so they can, like, maybe emotionally in the audition, they went deeper, but because they were older, and that's just life, right? 
And yeah. so then I was like, okay, I need to send these two last, you know, couples and send them to our executive producer, our family chats and, and our, um, and uh, Alexia, our, uh, you know, our, our team, we need to send it to our team and even our, to our crew. Okay. At that point. And I said, okay, we are going to go with the, who gets the most votes. Here's the audience. The audience is going to pick. And hands down, it was Tony and Anna. So that's how they got cast. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of that. Okay, okay we, we have new. Thank yes! you. Thank Woo! you, Yenny. We have new people coming in. Can you? Hola, hola, hola. Buenas tardes, buenos días. Oh, to Ben. Yeah. Swap your phone around. Flip your phone around, Evo. What's Evo. happening? Do this. You're not, her, you're, you're not horizontal. Bonnie, do you want to put Ruben in at the top, please? Sure. Thank you, my dear. I love you. <laughs> Beautiful. So right. hello and welcome to Chatbox with Sam, you gentlemen, uh, to Her Choices oh, live stream. I'm wonderful, thank you. And how are you? Oh, I'm doing great in Miami. This is a You're nice all in weather. Miami, huh? That's right, that's right. Where are you? You're in California, no? I'm in Auburn, Cal North Auburn, California. Yeah. Oh, how's the weather? I'm, I'm busy. I'm in Los Angeles a lot, but I'm I'm in Aub North Auburn right now. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, so how's the weather? Well, we've oh, had storm. Yeah. We've had storms and power outages this week from the storms. You know, PG, PG and E, and the trees coming down, and yeah, and it's been quite the bad. Is, is you had an earthquake in Los Angeles? You did, didn't you? Yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. We did. Ruencito. <laughs> yes. My friend. How are you doing? I'm so happy to be with you there again. <laughs> so Ruben, Ruben is casting and he's in the uh, sizzle reel, uh, the trailer for her choices that we've been watching on the screen. Ruben, how did you feel being on set with Jennifer and Mauricio on the set of her choices? It's like being part of my family, you know? Ah. Uh, you know, I love them. I love them. I'm, I'm very happy to be part of the, you know, the movie and all the things that she's doing, and she's doing great. You know, and I, and I know this movie is going to be a hit. It's going to be very good. I know that. I know that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Deserve that. you deserve that. Really, really, you deserve that. Okay. So I'm very happy for you. And you know, I'm waiting for the. When do you think it's going to come out? Well, um, definitely by next year, by the end of this year is what I'm saying. We'll, we'll have it um, ready for the, you know, ready to, to launch um, into the world. Um, right now we are um, raising the, the rest of the funds to go back to Miami and complete it in April. So the goal is to, to get back to Miami first 10 days of April and um, have it all in the can and then um and then continue with post um and um we work really fast with post that's one thing that we definitely have honed um our our skills in as filmmakers we don't we don't like to take forever in post it's like we we know when it's there um because here's the thing with filmmaking it's never done mm -hmm. it's never I, done I you know, need to choose when it's done you need to know Trust your instincts that the post is done, and you know, siempre hay algo que uno puede cambiar. There's always something. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I've been here. So I've been doing this job for so many years that I know everything about the job. I tell you, I know. I know. Uh, I remember. I remember when we were doing our scene. It was raining. It oh. was raining. What well, that day it was terrible, oh my God. <laughs> we had to do it with umbrella and everything. That 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 day is a story in itself because I didn't quite even see Ruben 
because I was I was literally, you know, there were so many fires that day to um, put out, out, to put out uh, that day in production. Yeah. And if people see the, the once they see the movie, there's a story behind how that scene was even. You well, know. I had to rewrite the scene, yeah. literally rewrite the scene around the rain. The weather, yeah. We literally sat in the in the SUV that we, you know, transportation, and with the actors, with Jenny and Maggie, um, and we, I had to rewrite it. And I know, I know, I know, I know. And then, and and Ruben was such a champ. He was like, "Okay," and I go, "Bobby, just go with it." <laughs> and, you know, Ruben and I have known each other again. His family. He yes. My father on screen. Um, we did um, a Kaiser Kaiser commercial together. He was he played my dad. Um, we did. Yeah, we've been. We were in the Nosotros theater group together. I mean, it's been over almost twenty five years since I've known Ruben as well. And, um, and he's still going. Look. Yeah. He's still acting. That's amazing. Yeah. Much, oh, respect always, comes, much respect always, comes out to you, sir. Yeah, Jen always knew that Ruben was going to play that part. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I want Ruben. He goes, Ruben going to play crush this it. part. He's going to crush this part. He's and... so funny. Because yeah. Ruben is so funny. The, yes. he's, I, don't is so why, funny. I don't know why. Maybe maybe I got that from my mother. Because my mother was very funny. I tell you one thing. She was really yeah. funny. No. Since the day I you're just, I mean, it, it's amazing. You see him on, on stage, on screen, and it's, uh, it, it, you, you can't help but feel good and laugh. And there's a joy that he brings out in you that because he's having so much fun doing what he's doing. Right. Even when he's doing the scene in the rain, not only rain, torrential rain. Exactly. Right. Yeah. The umbrellas the water start. was coming into my eye. The water was coming into my eye. I can't even see the, the, the ghosts. I, it was I terrible. Can't. I said, where are they are? Where they are? So I finally that I said, somebody touch me. I said, oh, that's you. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's not my fault. I'm blind. Oh my goodness! No, that's sauce. I don't know where the other gentleman went off to. Do you, is he in touch? Oh, he's with come back. Um, no, his phone. Um, mm -hmm. something happened with his phone. Evo, I'll be back. Um, thirty minutes. Yeah, he. Yes. Oh, I don't. I don't know if we're going to be here in thirty yeah, minutes. Maybe. Pretty crappy. Um, come on. So one of the things I wanted to say about that day, right, with the difficulties of production, not only was we. From the moment we hit that location, we had problems. Unfortunately, the gentleman wanted, we got there, he saw production, he thought, oh my God, I didn't get crazy. Crazy. money. I mean, the cars, I mean, you name it. And we, when we got to, the, to, to our house that day, we couldn't believe that we got the day. Yeah. We were like, because you, on, on, until we saw the dailies, we didn't know what we had. I know. We couldn't cancel. We couldn't cancel the day. We were already there. I know. I know. I know. We couldn't cancel it. So once right. we saw the daily, it costs too much money on production to just cancel, doesn't it? it yeah. was, I know. I know. Film well, producers. So on Wednesday, we had to cancel after the first location because literally the second location got flooded, flooded. in Fort oh, Lauderdale. Uh, to cancel, so we did lose. Um, but we were able to cancel the night before. We already knew the night before we're going to have to cancel. Right. We just got we, we had to cancel it. But on this day, it was we got to go and we got to mm. just get the most out oh, of yeah, it and sure. get the scene and yeah. the actors yeah. were, were hopefully. I mean, the crew, everybody amazing. Let yeah. me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When Jenny say action, okay, I was start to walk into the two girls and I saw. A pool of water, and I was afraid to walk over because I don't know how deep that thing was. <laughs> I, I was walking, you know, and I say, I, I was telling the girl to come. I was saying, if I'm gonna drown, I want her to drown. So then they, they <laughs> I told that. I said, oh my God, I'm okay now. I can walk over. <laughs> you had no life jackets on set. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> Totally, totally. Oh my God, I love to 
in the video so Ruben can see it. The root, the the um the one from the the second one um, from the interview. Uh, okay. Yes. The okay. okay. Yeah. We'll we'll put that on, and then I think then if we don't, we will encourage people. Um, yes. I'd like to play the video the last time, the sizzle reel, so Ruby can see that, and then. And then we can um, start wrapping up and then but uh, encourage people uh, and your guests to still share um, the incentive site mm -hmm. out on social media, share this out on social media, keep people involved, the audience involved and, and keep sharing the incentives and, and the site to come to that. So we do, we do um, have until just to, let everybody know till 2.11. 2.11, we still have a couple of actors coming in um, at 2 o'clock. So, um, yes, and that that's... Oh, amazing. great. Okay. All righty. So let's watch that video until so everybody can see that video again. And um, Okay. Whenever you're ready, Bonnie. All right. I'm answering, I'm answering people as well. Pete of her choices a biopic based on my life set in miami in 1989 to 1995 i am so so proud of this project and i'm grateful to have my husband and life partner with me making this dream of mine come true mission in this film for us is to inspire people to never give since she was young, she glanced at the stars Prayed that they'd spell out her name that they know Hi, I'm Jennifer Behrens and I am so excited to invite you on my journey in telling my story that's been in the making for 25 years. Yes, you heard it, 25 years. Piece to piece. It's a story about never giving up on your dreams, about believing in yourself, knowing that you are enough, and knowing through love, courage, and forgiveness, especially when tragedy hits your family, that you get to choose what your life is gonna be. Yeah. I love that. Hey. Bravo, bravo. Yeah. Is. <laughs> I was hoping that Bonnie um, last time would bring up the incentive page and, and just go through it on the side. And I think she's trying to do that now. We might not be able to um, in this I'm live stream. Yeah. So, so people can see on screen what the page mm -hmm. is and, and the, and some of the incentives that you're sharing there for the people. I want to give a shout out. Some um, we got another fifty dollars donation. Um, Yay! Awesome. Yes, from oh my goodness, the hold on a second. I just lost it. Um, and go out and subscribe. We're getting subscribers. Follow the Seed and Spark campaign. Um, Susie Gauchi, thank you so much for your donation. Fifty dollars. Susie, Susie Gauchi. Suanna, gracias. Gauchy. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Oh, thank you, Susie. And I'd like to give a shout out to Melissa Noble, Casey Howell, uh, Sammy, and um, hi guys. But they they are in the um, YouTube on my channel chat. And Tony, A. Angela, and Darren, and Jessica is is already left there, obviously. So thank you, Casey, Melissa, Sammy. And the Lat Fam for being in the YouTube channel and uh, Tony Angelo. Thank, yes, you. thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes. 
on Facebook. Um, I saw Buster, who is a Colombian Venezuela, a Colombian Venezuela, Colombian brother, um, who's also an actor and lives in Colombia. He used to live here in California. Mm -hmm. And he's on and he um he I just want to say hi as well. Um hi. this has been um what a what a fun what a fun afternoon to really give life and to, to lean into and, and breathe into this story and into this um project because it takes so much energy and it and it mm. and it's a village, like I said earlier. Yeah, and, um as leaders, we can't let it we can't let it get cold. We need no. to maintain, maintain the heat, maintain it alive, maintain it relevant um, so that it can definitely see the light uh, of day and, and, and it can, so the world can see it, you know? Correct, um, correct. And like, yeah. a, this, this is one of our pivots. We, 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 if, if one thing doesn't work and we pivot the other way, um, like I said, when we started, you know, we unfortunately, a uh, couple of days uh, during production, we lost one of our investors. We had the money. Oh no! We had the money going in, uh, and uh, unfortunately, you know, due to circumstances, uh, we we had to pivot and do as much as we could. We've shot eighty percent of of the film, um, and now we just need eight more days to finish it. Um, and um, which is why we're here uh, with Speed and Spark and. Chat box yes. with Sam and yes. Bonnie, and they're helping us get the word out. Uh, we need to raise um, this money. The you know. Yeah. So let right. me be specific on the seed and spark. You probably go, what? They only need forty three thousand. That's forty three thousand per day. One so day. Because of the platform, they only give the, um, uh, what you raise um, eighty. Once you hit the eighty percent threshold. They always tell you to go with a lower amount. So mm -hmm. it's um it's our way to create um, momentum, create the buzz, create the community, and have all of our audience go to the Student Spark and follow everyone, share with your network, um, and then you know raise the forty three thousand. That's one day of production, um, and with that we can attract the rest of the investors that are out there that are looking for a story like this to support and to champion. I know you're out there and we're here, we're waiting for you and we're we're attracting you right now. <laughs> yes, we're attracting you in the universe. Yes. So, positive, positive vibes for her yeah. choices. And the I mean, budget. It's a fantastic, fantastic <laughs> trailer. It's a, and the sizzle and, and the speech. I thought yes. that, that, was, that was great. Is, was there any, um, so I'm, I'm Echoing. Was there any um, behind the scenes snippets that you'd like to share a little bit, just like a couple of things that may have happened and um, that well, you'd like to, share, like to share with the audience? With uh, Ariel? Yes, yes. So, uh, so we did that one filming, right? And uh, that was, uh, I forget. When when it was, but we had to come back and film another version. And that's the version where I played uh, his dad and, uh, and uh, Sonia Smith played his mom. And then we filmed that and he, I stuck around because he had another week of filming. So on our flight back, I asked him, hey, so Tony, what was your most favorite part about the filming so far? And he goes, dad, when I got to work with you? And I said, what? <laughs> that was such a, it, it, was, you know, it, it wasn't as impactful as all the other stuff you were doing. He goes, yeah, but you don't understand that. He goes, as soon as you and Sonia started working together, it's almost like you had been working together for 20 years. And I saw how, how your acting was, and I felt like I had to come up to a different level in order to interact with you guys. And right uh. there. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I want to give a big thank you to Jennifer and Mauricio because you don't know what you did. I mean, this is your story, but you don't know what you did to this story. Yeah, this has always been a whole part of being seen together forever. Oh. Yeah, so that was one for the bucket list. I can die in peace now. <laughs> well, no, no. Oh, 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 that was a oh, oh, very sweet. So. <laughs> you know, because you know, as, pa as parents, we try out, you know, as parents, we don't get a, a rule book when you, we give birth to a child, you know, I'll give birth to mine, and you don't get a rule book or you 
and you just try your best and you just want them. You can't you can't fly the wings. You can just yeah. guide them for the children, you know. And uh, and when they show appreciation, that is that is the best in the world, I think. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yes, thank you. And I know this is, this is the big movie, emotional movie for you too, but it's emotional for us too. Thank you very much. Oh, and me. I'm emotional. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Where's the tissues? I know, I'm over here like, that's so wonderful. I know. I do cry at commercials, actually. I'm quite an empath. I'm like, that is so magic. sad. <laughs> that is the magic because it goes to so many levels. There's so many. Mm. It's not just my healing, right? This is a universal right. story because we yes. are have our own healing to do and, and through our art i always say acting saved my life you know yeah i didn't have money to go to therapy i went to acting class and that's how i was able to um navigate and really just express all of that stuff that we hold inside that's why healing incredible craft because it serves as uh, it serves as therapy it truly truly does for me right. my my life and to to be able to experience this with your with um with tony i know how that feels when what is that noise yeah I, I, it's, a, it's a phone <laughs> <laughs> I need the Zoom right now. Can I call you back? Okay. <laughs> I love it. Abso absolutely, Ruben. You go do what you got to do, sweetheart. Oh, no, he's talking to the person calling you. He's, he, he's Cuban. He's talking to the other person. I, I, thought, I, I thought it was Avon. I thought Avon I was calling. I, I want to say something. I, I want to say something. I just saw the movie of the lady who swim from Cuba to Florida. And one yes. of the things that she say, one of the things that she say that is never late to uh, to make your dreams come true. And that was one of the things that she said that is, was unbelievable. And listen to you say that, you know, it's, it's very impressive. So, you know, and that and that movie is, is going to be award, you know, it's nominated for an award, so. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's that movie made me cry and it made me and it gave me it gave me that 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 it's not that, it's it's, it's, to yeah, like yeah. Home, you're gonna tell your story, Jenny. Don't worry. Look, she had to go back five times to do this. It's a movie. Five years. Nyad. If you right. it, watch that, it, yeah, Nyad professional it's, swimmer. Jody Annette Foster Benny. and Ed Benny are incredible they in, really in, are. In, in the film. She's a good actress, Jodie Foster. I, I, She's you know, the thing about the filming. Um, yes, I, it must have happened various times, but um, I, when I saw Jennifer uh, directing this one scene inside the house, and I saw her um, transport as, as she was directing into that, she went back in time, and I saw as she was as she was filming, she just broke down and started crying, talking about emotions. She was there; she was reliving that moment, and uh, yeah. It was very, yeah, that was very impactful. I said that was uh, that was so yeah. I could, yes. just see that, I could just see her transport herself in time. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It, it's, it's so Did that happen in any other filming? In, uh, any other it, did. It, it, it did, you know, yeah. which was one of the things that I knew my job was going to be was to make sure, right, every single time we were about to jump somewhere, I needed to, you know, make sure that how she was because I had to go and, and do other things yeah. and um, – and she would call me like, I need you for a second. And we would focus in what we were about to do because she was really living, really living these moments and very cathartic. And, and I actually was watching her relive them for me as a husband. Yeah. Right. It, and your daughter too. And your daughter. Yeah. Making films, you know, people go, producing a film is a crazy thing. People like me, they go, why would you want to do this? You know, why would you just want to be the actor, director, all of it in, right? Yeah, it's a lot of hats, isn't it, on it set? Is. But, you know, I just want to say, when I tried, I tra and, and it actually took me to that moment in my life, 
I knew as a director, got it. Right? That was yeah. my that was my um sign in my heart. We captured the moment, we captured the magic. These actors are amazing. So when they brought that out in me is because they fucking nailed it. And I am so grateful for my actors because uh, you, I could not tell my story. Yeah, this it, this is a color right? I, uh, I mean, all, all, it was all, just so amazing. From 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 our and, yeah. from our crew to our actors to yes. you know, our lifelines out there, Julio Julio Sandarriaga, uh, Alexis Grimlochi. So you know, Alexia, Alexia. I know, I always, and here you always wanted to drink Alexis. <laughs> here. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Alexia. Welcome to Chatbox with Sam. I know you was on here before. <laughs> someone, yeah. someone loves their daughter. <laughs> oh. Just up and tell us who you played and how you felt. Hi, I'm Juliana. I play young Jenny in the film. And That's awesome. How did, how did you feel playing your mom when she was? A young girl. I mean, it's a really cool experience to like, like, act of like what she's been through. I know she's been through a lot, and I've heard about everything. And I just enjoy it because I really see myself as a mom, and she's my best friend, so I love it. Oh, see, that is special. And you know, I can't even tell you. For twenty-five years, I've been wanting to tell my story. And you know when they say God's timing is perfect, el tiempo de Dios es perfecto, it is, it's not when we want, but when the universe and when God and whatever it is, that divine energy that you believe in, when mm. that is ready, that is when it's going to unfold for you. I could not even imagine. I I didn't even think that my daughter was going to play me in my No, movie. right. And you played your mom. And I played my mom and my brother's baby girl is playing my sister. My ne my niece, Mila, is playing my baby sister. And her, our son, Adrian, is playing her brother. Older. Older with an oh. so. Wow, it's a family affair. It's a it's family affair. Oh, I won't start singing. I won't put you through that torture. <laughs> and, it's, and it's taken this long. For me to tell my story because all my family members were supposed to be in this film and it's supposed to be a family affair all around not just for my family but for your family too lean ass just so you know <laughs> <laughs> do you know that's gonna be the hype we're, not, we're gonna have to hashtag that one that's it. Yeah, <laughs> social yeah, media yeah. <laughs> 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 thank you my love i love you thank you for gracing us with your presence i know we have to call your agent and your publicist to see if you you know you can come on <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> She's like, oh. <laughs> I'll make a good publicist too. <laughs> so, all right. So, um, we have Chantal, and um, coming on soon is. Do we see her on Not there? Yes. Linda. Okay. Can, can they click in no, now? Okay. Can, they, can they just click in? Can you ask them to come on now? We're gonna log off, guys. Thank you very much. Ariel and Tony, thank you, thank you so much. Ariel, bye bye. Thank you, and Tony. Ariel, thank you. Love you. Share, share, share. Te quiero mucho. Yes. Okay. Take care. I'll speak to you soon. Good luck, Tony. I hope some casting director sees you on this and keep posting out there and keep going to auditions. Oh, and Ariel, you know what? Why don't you take a moment to plug your movies coming out? One of them is with Kevin Costner. You know, you're okay. I got a coming out with Kevin Ruben. Go ahead. What? Go ahead, Ariel. I got uh, two movies coming out with Kevin Cosner's in June, uh, June 28th. It's called Horizon, uh, an American saga. I play uh, Mike Connolly. I'm a frontiers man and uh, kind of like a hitman. And then uh, the second of that series is coming out in August, at the end of August. Then I've got another one coming out uh, uh, called Homestead with Neil McDonough, 
that should be coming out in a, in a few months too. Awesome. Thank you for letting me plug that in. I love Kevin Costner. Nice. Ruben, Ruben, anything you got to plug? Ruben, well, I, I'm going to be in a movie called Telma with Katyn Bay. Uh, I'm going to be in that movie. And I, I, I be, I'm in a, sh a show in Netflix called Neon. It's a very funny show. It's, I'm doing that one too. And they just called me to do a movie they call The Old Man and the Parrot. It's funny. It's very, very funny. It's, a, it's, it's, it's a, you know, a lot of them in, inside of the parrot. So they, they, the parrot talked to me and I fight with the parrot. It's, it's very funny. It's very funny. <laughs> oh, cute. And it. we can all find them on the streamings, right? <laughs> on HBO or something, Netflix. And Tony, do you have anything coming up? Where can uh, we see you? I know yeah, that. Yeah, he does. It's called Her Choices. <laughs> yes. And yes. yes. That's right. It's a TV show. That's right. Um, you were on, where can we see you on, um, what was that TV show? Is that it you Disney did? or Nickelodeon? Disney? Yeah, um, Villains of Valley View, season one. I, I played a, one episode in there. And then also Animal Kingdom. I played one episode in Animal Kingdom. Um, great shows. Thank you for having us so much. We love you guys. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Tony and Dario. I'll be speaking to you soon. Bye. Okay. Bye. Take care. Thank you very much for being on that box with Sam. See, we ain't joking around. We got some really, really top-notch actors that have been around for a very, very long time. We're so absolute, great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yes. Um, Bonnie, I sent you Chantal's um, number. She's trying to log on. Jenny's best friend. And then I believe that that'll be our, um, our, our last actor for today. And, and it's perfect because she is also a singer songwriter and she's the one who wrote and is singing the theme song right now of her choices that we're oh here. i love that song that's awesome so yeah. rubio rubio's left the building yeah <laughs> and so did alvis so there's that <laughs> <laughs> and so um so we're waiting for her to come on um, but perhaps you can give her um, a shout. She's trying to. Yes, she's working on that right now. App. She needs to download the app. No, she should be able to hit the link. And just... It's just the link. Um, yeah, I sent her the link. Is just the link. All right. So in the meantime, oh, wow. Sam, you're Thank you. awesome. Thank you so much. Everyone listening on YouTube, on Facebook. We're so grateful. Thank you for all the donations. Please share, spread the word. Um, mm -hmm. It's all about building community and uh, again. And being part of the film. Uh, you know, if you get associate producer credit, you know, yeah. um, that that's quite a good credit, you know, and credits on the end of the movie, that's fantastic. You can have them. If you don't want it for yourself, you can have it for your children, your grandchildren, your niece, nephew, you know, have their name put up on a film credit. There's that's that's quite a nice one, I think. Yeah. And then definitely they can be part of the movie too for the one the, the a walk on role they have. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Who wants oh, to be in a movie? Walk on role. Right? A yes. walk on role. Let's go. And acting classes with Jennifer and Mauricio. Forgot the Hollywood in the house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We also have self-tapes for those of you um, local that need help with self-tapes. We um, help actors with their self-tapes as well. And we also help um, other parents um, just really navigate the business of the business. Um, mm -hmm. Most most parents don't know. No. They get gouged. They get, they get you know, mis misled. And so mm -hmm. that we... That we it's all cold. Yeah. yeah. Well, we also, Jen and I, we, we call ourselves entrepreneurs yeah. because we like businesses. We like creating things within the world that we live in. Right. The, the entertainment world. And uh, also um, most of our things are how do we, how can we serve people in the best way? And uh, these platforms that we've built, we're, we're serving actors, we're serving directors, producers. Uh, you know, our mission is to, you know, make a, make a, what is it? Make a. She's drinking her lemonade. 
<laughs> you know what? If you were in a bar, if you were in a bar right now, you would have just scored. Make a difference one actor at a time. She, yeah. she was like, boom. I just thought she was going to finish my thought. I know, but I all of a sudden, I thought I was going to take a sip. Literally, I thought I was going to take a sip. I, I know I've drunk a whole bottle of water since I've been here. No, okay. Okay. All this talking. <laughs> Go drink, hydrate. Holy moly, we haven't we haven't hydrated. I actually haven't had any any nourishment. Any hydration. I've had my coffee. No, we haven't either. I, I, I've been sitting here. It's looking like is she gonna be able to come on or um well I think, yeah. I think she's having I think she's having an issue. So I'm gonna ask Bonnie to come back and then did she Yeah, I'm here. Um so I've I'm trying to contact her directly and I, I haven't connected yet, so I'm waiting for that. Oh okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Did she received the link. Yeah. Did you yeah. send her the link? Yeah. That's weird. Um, if you just want to give her the heads up that I sent a message, maybe that would help. Yes, I did. Okay. It. Did you manage to Did you manage to do that other thing that I asked? Is it uh, loaded it's, yet? It's still processing. Very so low. I'm checking back. I'm basically sitting like on the page the waiting for it to finish. Okay, I think we need to just uh, I do the trailer while we're waiting for yeah, let's let's, let's go. and then if she doesn't come in, then we'll see what happens. Just we want people to go to the YouTube, uh, the, the Facebook page, Jennifer Amaricio, or on Instagram, Facebook. Um, they're not on Twitter, but I am and chat box with Sammy's and and also threads that's the new one and LinkedIn. So, um they will be continuing to share this live stream um, and their page, their their events page with their crowdfunding uh, link on there. Please do go and, and look at the look at the incentives that are on there and, and be part of this film. And um, you'll really enjoy it. It's it's moving, very truly moving. And there's been a lot of work and heart what has gotten into this. Now, you can make a movie, but to put your heart into it, that's another thing altogether. Yeah. Hi. Evo, you're back. Eva, hello, you're back. Welcome. Hello, 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 everybody. Buenos dias. Buenas tardes. <laughs> Hola. What's happening, everybody? Hey, Baba. So We're just... Como estamos? Eva, would you like to share your experience on set with um, her choices and how you felt and what emotions it brought for you? Oh my God, I'm so many emotions, so much feeling. Oh. <laughs> no, it was, it, was, uh, it was a great experience. I, is the reception okay here? I'm in my barn here, so. Here, yes, we yeah, it, 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 we can hear you. You know, you you look like you're you can? On, on, okay, good. You look like you go in slow motion sometimes, but that's quite flattering, I think. So, there you go. <laughs> oh, you're okay, barn. Well, nice. I'm just making sh yeah, yeah. I'm in LA, I have a barn here in LA. Really, <laughs> you do, do you, in England, they have oh. a thing called barn dancing, they used to. No, tell no, us, I'm lying. It's, it's it, it's not in L.A. Uh, um, Mendocino. I'm in Mendocino. Um, oh, Mendocino. No, it was a great well. experience. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, You're not far from me. That I was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you at? I'm in Auburn, California. Okay. North. Okay. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice. Um, uh, no, the experience was great. It was super fun. I mean, mine was a, uh, uh, you know, it was a, it was a quick little. Uh, uh, there it goes. There's the light. There's the light we're looking for. All right. Nice. There's the light. Um, you know, it was a wonderful experience. You know, uh, Jennifer and me did our first commercial together about a hundred years ago. It was a hundred for me. It was only like thirty for her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and uh, so it was nice to kind of revisit that. And, um, I, you know, I, I really love the story. It was uh, uh, the, the, the humorous part for me was that I didn't know that what she was living through, you know, when I knew her, 
when she was just, uh, you know, a young una bebecita, you know, she was a child, really. I mean, she was a, a baby that had to grow up really fast. Um, but I never knew that. She really played it off really well. And, um, you Aww. know, after reading the script, I was like, hey, listen, you know, anything you need me to do, uh, no worries, no problem. I, I'll, I, I'm there uh, because I think it's a great story. And, you know, and, and uh, you know, you hear about stuff like this. And, you know, we all have our little stories. Anybody who came, who, who grew up in Miami, again, I'm sure California had its own set of issues but all of us that yeah. grew up in miami in the 70s and 80s and and you know 90s uh i mean yeah we we've all got we're lucky it, to be alive you know really right um, yeah and, and you know, it, you it's know. not what it's not what happens to a person when they're going through something it's not how you fall it's how you get up that matters it's how that's what defines a person not not the tragedies or sometimes the horrors of what's going on in someone's life. It's how you react to it and how you grow from it. And, and, and this story that Jennifer has, has done, you know, and put it onto a script and putting it into film, just, it's just, I think that's a therapy for her right there because she's been able to share this, move through it, been able to talk about it and still move through this and, and life has been traumatic in in some areas, um, and then she's she's shone through this. Look where she is now. So it's not where you are or when you're down. It's how you get back up and where you are now and who you choose to be. I think in life, and that's why I think a lot of people identify this with with their own lives. Anyone that's been through any trauma, you don't get you don't get through this life without creating some sort of scars, you know, it's, yeah. it's a very, you know, it's just life. It's just the way it is. It's our magic. I think um, our, yeah. message, our message, I always say our pain um, is our gift to, right. to transform, to transmute it into mm -hmm. that message for everyone else. Um, it's, it's, it's our legend, you know, it's our yeah. opportunity yeah. to it's, be that legend in our own lives. Right. Um, we I we lost Evo. But I wanted I to say this. I don't know if he can hear. Um, you know, um, Evo really is um, the first person you see in the movie. He's back. He's back. And he fucking crushes it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm getting closer to my house now, and uh, we have Starlink here, so the reception should be a little bit better because. So Over he, there at the front of the barn is, uh, uh, I thought the light would be great, but the, um, oh, right. This was my, this was my shot. That's right. <laughs> well, we, can, we can see your blue eyes. Look at those eyes. Uh, They're actually green. Uh, green. Are they green? No, my. I've yeah. always been a bit colorblind, like... Jen. <laughs> there. Things I wanted to say, you know, um, this this should incredible, be better here. Incredible thing when we started casting this this movie because Jennifer was looking for something very specific because uh, this character opens the movie, and if you look at Evo and his eyes, um, they're so impact when you meet him. He's a tall guy, and it, it, it's he's got this incredible aura about him, mm -hmm. and. It, oh. it was just the right casting, man. My God. Yeah. It was the right casting. But talk about timing, yeah. right? God's timing is perfect. It was a role that I had to cast locally because budgetary wise, we yeah. could not fly, um, you know, um, day players. We had to literally um, just, anyway, here's the thing. Evo and I have known each other for over a million years, also from Miami. We did our first, our first pizza hut commercial with him. To, it was insane. And then we were we stayed in contact. And he literally sends me a message and he's like, guess what? Because because of what happened with the investor, we have to push. We have right. to push. I'm so sorry that happened to and you. Happens okay. a lot. Everything happens mm. for a reason and it's perfect. Mm. And 
I got to have Evo because our production got pushed while he and his family went to Miami to visit family. Right. So he's like, guess what? I'm here. If you you can use me, I'm here. And I was like, oh my God, I haven't cast that role yet. I haven't found the person you're in. <laughs> and it was uh, perfect, divine yeah. timing. Yeah. Listen. Yep. You okay, Mauricio? It all works when it works, right? Yep. Yep. Exactly. It does. Exactly. And I love your puppy. Oh, did you see? That's Meatball. Oh, my Come here, seduced. Meatball. He opens the door himself and he gets out. <laughs> this is Meatball. Oh, Lord. Oh, uh, oh, oh the baby. I know. Oh, He's a big baby. stinker. I know. <laughs> Cute. I love animals. <laughs> Oh yeah. my gosh. Well, Evo, I know that um again, you know Any news from Chantel? I yeah, I was just going to update you. Um actually, I don't think she's going to be able to connect. It looks like her connection is the issue that she's having, like her internet yeah. ability. She's out, so, she's um, out snowboarding. Yeah, she yeah. said she's on a mountain. I can see that she's in the right place on here, but it's just not working for her, and I don't, I don't think it's going to be something we can do. Yeah, my, my son is snowboarding up in Lake Tahoe right now, too. I love it. Yeah. Again, you know, oh, nice. Just, uh, yes, it's beautiful um, up there. Yeah, honey, anytime, anytime, whatever you need, whatever I can do. If you guys want to come up here to God's country, yeah. this oh is God. the front yard here at my house. Okay, I'll see you next week. I'd like a cup of tea. Definitely. <laughs> wants to interview you, get on her show and with Bonnie and um, share, you know, share, um, share a little bit about what you, what, what you're up to, Evo, and um, where can people see your acting, but also your business because you're an entrepreneur. Um, so tell us. Well, I'm, I'm in the cannabis space and I've, uh, I came up here a couple, um, I think 2005 was when I decided to do something different instead of living in LA. And I uh, came up here to Mendocino County and started a little farm and got a little property and then got another one and another one. And, uh, you know, we have distribution licenses, manufacturing, cultivation, and we do, we're actually, we've, quadrupled our sales this year uh 24 was amazing for us we went from 10 stores to 40 so we're in 40 shops in california and that's awesome you know yeah i mean it's uh it's no joke it's uh it's not just plant a seed and and pick up the money because it doesn't work like that it's uh you know, it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, uh, but you know, it's better than punching a clock. And uh, you know, I'm out in. I mean, you know, it's hard. it's gorgeous. Yeah. I love it. It is beautiful. I love. I live in the foothills too, and it's very beautiful up here. You can't beat nature and the lakes and stuff that are here in Folsom. Yeah. yeah Folsom, no. Folsom, Fol I got it. Sorry, Forest I have Hill a creek. I have a creek that runs right through the property. It's right there. It goes all the way there and then another creek this way. And so, you know, it's awesome. The kids love it up here. It's an amazing place to, to raise kids, I think. And, uh, and you know, uh, truthfully with the industry, I booked like a couple, two, three biggest jobs I've ever done from, you know, Covalo, you know, population 1600, you know, from the kitchen here my house so uh, again i don't know if the, if any more will come down the line but if it does great if it doesn't you know i'm busy and i'm not yeah. gonna you know how the industry is it doesn't give a yeah, shit about you it doesn't there's, care there's no, there's no yeah yeah but you're in you you're know. in you're in our her choices it's coming soon and yes I'm you're gonna be in that fantastic Fantastic. So, thank Send you. me some information too on, I mean, the thing is, is uh, listen, if you would have done this three, four, five years ago, there was, uh, uh, I knew people in the cannabis space that actually had money today. It's, you know, the industry has taken, you know, 
basically like every other industry, uh, nobody has any money anymore. Uh, no. But you never know. That's why. So, you know, send me info because, you know, uh, at least I can people that I know that have a little money that, you, listen, you never know, you never know, you never know who, you know, who, uh... Mo, there's great incentives on there. They can have credits in their yeah. name. They can be, they can have a walk-on role. They can... Yeah. They can yeah. have some acting yeah. lessons. So, yeah, there's lots of incentives <laughs> on the site. So, so to yeah. share, yeah. please I'll call share. You Eva, okay? Love you. Love you. You. Love you too, you guys. Thank you so much. Igual cualquier cosa, me avisa. I'm okay. I'm here for you. Thank you. We love you. Dale. Dale, buenas tardes. Bye. Thank you. It's lovely meeting you, Eva. Nice to meet you, hon. Bye -bye. And you too. And I love your property. Thank you for sharing. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Mwah. Okay. Bye-bye. Group hug. Group hug. Bye. Un beso. Un beso, un beso. Okay. So I think Bye. we're going to... Thank you, Eva. Thank you. So we are going to wrap this up now. It's been a wonderful afternoon with all the guests. I am very honoured that all the Jennifer's and Mauricio's guests came on here. They truly are beautiful people, all of them. And uh, I wanted to say thank you for giving me the opportunity and Bonnie um, to host and produce this live stream for her choices and for these awesome cast members. Please do look at the incentives they are worth looking into and worth being part and part of so i'm going to say um have a good afternoon be safe be kind to each other love each other and be kind okay because life's very short and i will leave you with the last words of yenipa and mauricio and thank you bonnie bonnie thank you so much for all you've done you're welcome yenipa and mauricio you may close out Thank you so much. Um, again, I see so many of you on Facebook, on YouTube. Um, another one of our actors um, just called. I know some couldn't get on, like um, Sonia and our and our casting director Ed. Mm -hmm. He's also a producer. Um, you know, it's just tech, tech, <laughs> technical, technical difficulties. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. technology. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, we will have more. This is literally the launch of this um, seven week long campaign. We're going to have different events um, and different um, and, and different um, lives. So this is not the only one. This is the first of many so that we can get back to Miami and complete what we started. Um, and my heart is full. My heart is just like, I was, I was just so, so I'm not going to pretend that I wasn't afraid to do this, that I, I, I didn't doubt. I'm like, I don't, we don't want to do this, but we do want to do this because it's not, mm -hmm. it's all about community and connecting to the people um, that, that we love and that love us back. And that's what life is about. It's about celebrating and 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 really you know i don't want to i don't want to um reiterate everything that's already been said but i just want to um highlight the beautiful connection that we've all experienced through this virtual um streaming that you two have so graciously donated and given of your time and your your producing um and and your generosity your hearts I am so grateful for both of you, Samantha, Bonnie. Thank you, thank you. because you made the difference for us to do this. Truly, you were. It was those, meant to be. Yeah, you were those yeah. two angels that God sent to us to say, "Yes, we're doing this." And so, again, I'm so grateful. I'm excited. Everyone watching on 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 live. Please share the links. We'll continue. I'm going to go in there and answer all of you. And I've been just, the phone has been blowing up and it's really beautiful to see the love and the support. And, um, you know, those voices in our heads that say you can't, that say, why you, that say nobody loves you, nobody cares. Don't listen to those voices. Don't mm. listen to those voices because those voices have been really loud 
in my head in the last month. And oh. today, today has just been one of those days where is a confirmation uh, that those voices are not real. Those oh. voices are not real. You so saw me up. <laughs> listen to those voices show up for your life. Trust and allow those that show up for you. Allow them to love you. Am I am I doing you. this right? I don't oh. know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we're, we're just about to go. <laughs> we're, 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 I'm so Sonia Smith. I would love to interview on you on chat box with Sam. Thank you for <laughs> being here. I love oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing that, that, that broke the ice then. <laughs> and just that's a perfect example of someone no one can go up oh. there. Okay. That's showing up. Sorry, I know you have to go, Mona. And that I love. I was going to sit there. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, oh so my God. Je Jen and I are like, so sorry, I lost the nail. <laughs> Jen and I are <laughs> <That's laughs> right softies. I was wrapping it up and I was like, you know, some, some couldn't come on and some got the memo late. But mommy, thank you so much for showing up. Sonia Smith in the house. Everyone loves Sonia. Sonia is another Venezuelan legend. That I was awesome. 20, 20, I, I don't know how long, girl. We've known each other for so long. Yes. I used to watch her on TV in novelas and with my tias and my mom. I mean, <laughs> this, she's a superstar. And we're so freaking excited and grateful to have her. So, Sonia, introduce Thanks. yourself and, and, and take it away, Sam. Well, hi. Um, my name is... Smith, I was so happy when Jenny called me to do this. It's a it's a small part, it's a small bit, but when she called me, I said, yes, of course. I mean, we hadn't spoken in such a long time. Uh, and I said, well, of course, let me see how I can arrange my schedule. And you know, when something is meant to be, it's meant to be. Absolutely. And we were able to arrange everything. And you know, I went and it was really a great experience. I did not know until, you know, we finally were able to talk about the whole project, that it was based on her life. And I am so happy and so, you know, so honored to have been part of this wonderful um, endeavor. And I know it's going to, you know, make a lot of noise and put us Latinos you know, even more present within the market. And I can't wait until I'm able to see, you know, the finished product. I know you guys are still coming back to Miami to do a couple of things. And hopefully when you come, I hope I can see you guys. Absolutely. Oh, and it was, it was great that you got to be on here. I know we're just wrapping up right now, wrapping up yes. this, wrapping up this rap party <laughs> that we've yes, been having. I mean, I was in the rap party. <laughs> when, when right now I was in the middle of a rehearsal when I received the message from Jenny. And oh, I'm like, oh, I'll call her back. And then I, I went on and I clicked the link and everything. And I was, and I'm like, I'm not very, a lot of people are very savvy and they have everything installed on their phone and you know when they go in quickly and so on and so forth and i'm like okay so i had to download it i had to remember my password and oh I'm like, really I hope i'm able to go on i hope i'm able to go on and well here i am you oh, did i'm sorry i didn't realize people had to log in i Mommy, thought it was just thank you. thank you so much sonia yeah. You're welcome. Uh, Sonia, and I would thank you so much for being on chat box with Sam on her choices thank live you. stream. Uh, we are asking um, the we're asking the people to still share on social media if you would, because they have a, a website with the incentives on for people to donate and or be part of this film and purchase the um, incentives that they have on site. Um, Thank you for being here. I would love to interview you in the future. I do have your email. <laughs> so thank you. Um, thank you. A, a picture, a big pig, a picture, and then we're gonna wrap this up. I know Bonnie has to go. We all have to go. We've not eaten. One, two, three, Smith, smile. And Sonia, you made it. What? I made it, yes. <laughs> and, and, uh, we've been sitting here forever and and uh <laughs> I'll call you, mommy. Okay. Yes, call me. Okay, call smile me. again, please, ladies. Okay, oh, wait, wait, wait. One more, one more. Let's go, future pacing. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Love it. Now, mommy. Okay. 
So Bye. I'm going to I'm going to say thank you to all the guests that have been on the live stream today. Uh, thank you, Jennifer and Mauricio, for giving us this opportunity. It was all meant to be, and we're just as grateful to you as you are to us. And I love you guys That's very, very much. You are one power couple, and it's an honor to know you both. I will meet you in person very soon. Before you go to Miami, <laughs> I'm not going to come over there. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> but um, thank you so much, audience. Please check out the websites, the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah and um, follow them all on social media, Sonia, and all the guests that you've seen on here today. Right. God bless you Thank all. You. Be kind to each other. Happy New Year. Happy Lunar New Year. Happy, Happy Lunar New Year. New Year. It's Year Happy. of the Dragon. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Bye. Bonsoir, Char. Bye. Happy to Zane. Happy to Zane. <laughs> <laughs> and ciao. Bye.